nothing can stop me Cause I'm addicted to what you and I realize Lead the way, I follow No need to say, with me you're heading now babe. I follow, to the edge of it all So tell you Once again, this is Andre of Andre and Andre's Love Crossing Borders. Let me get it together. I was trying to get the tie on right and everything, but I guess your boy was just moving a little too slow tonight. I'm glad that you guys made it in here. Let me see if I can get this bow tie just right for us. All right. Once again, today's topic is going to be all about, well, let me, yeah, today's topic is going to be all about, is there any good women in South America. I mean, come on, let's be real. A lot of a lot of guys are saying, you know, I want a good woman in South America that's going to be there. <laughs> you say, tie that tie. All right, let's, let's go ahead and tie the tie real quick. All right, for those who have never tied a bow tie before, oh, it's real simple, brother. It's real simple. All you do is just take it over. Take this back in and throw it out of the way. You see how I got this? By itself, I'm folding it like I see my finger, see my ring finger. I'm holding this in. Bam. You just bring it in. It just was not working for you. You just put it back here. Remember, I just put that back there. You just bring that on down in the front. So now, when you brought it around in the front, you got a loop. See how my fingers in there? Just because I brought that around front, right? So now all this is gonna go into that loop where I just had my finger. There you go. Bam. And so now you just adjust it. Boom. Bam. Keep on adjusting. It just takes a few moments to adjust. Make it tighter. Make it tighter. Make it just right. There you go, brothers. And then you adjust it. And you have your tie or your bow tie just right. So for those that have never bowed, tied a bow tie or, or never seen a person buy, bow, tie the bow, well, there you go, brothers. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube to show you how to tie a bow tie properly. And if you want to make it even tighter, you just continue to adjust, just like a shoe, shoe string. You just continue to adjust. You can make that tight as you want it to be. There you go. See? Brother Spence there for you. All right. All right, let me get some things in order. Uh, but tonight's topic, I look now. I'm, I'm really like brother Kevin because you know Kevin always used to be doing everything else but looking into the camera. Uh, let me be right back. I got some. I got to close this door real quick because you know how loud I get. All right. And, and in honor of our brother, Kevin, in honor of our brother, Kevin, we have a fragrance of the week. Now, this fragrance, I'm going to tell you guys, Andre has loved a lot of fragrances and clones that I have collected over the years, right? Now, like I said, tonight's topic is going to be about, are there really any good women in South America? How do you pick them out? How do you choose the one that's going to be considered the one we're going to talk about that 
But before we go any further, you know how I always tell us about us dudes that travel. We got to smell good. We got to make sure I got the lighting just right. We got to smell good. There's enough travelers out there that the women in Colombia are complaining that y'all don't smell good. Y'all stink. Y'all some funky brothers. So what we got to do is smell good. And one of my favorite smell goods that I came across, this, this cologne has actually been out about two years, right? Beautiful box. Beautiful, just a beautiful box, right? And the cologne is called Oud for Glory. Oud for Glory. This very heavy bottle. Look at that artwork. Beautiful artwork. It's, it's a Middle Eastern smell, smelling cologne. Yeah, and actually, the beauty of it is, just like the brother just said, you can get this on Amazon for about $25 to $30. And I'm telling you, the, the actual cologne, the original cologne is actually Oud for Greatness. Now, Oud for Greatness is like three, four $400. It's like a Ventus, Creed Aventus, right? But then somebody had enough sense to come out with their own version using the same notes using the same, uh, 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 like I said, the same notes, the same uh, smells, the same scents, the same oud, all of that is inside of here. And I kid you not, every review that I've watched, this is 93 to 97% the exact same scent and cologne of the $400 one, which is Ooh for Greatness, that you will find with Ooh for Glory. What I like about Ooh for Glory also, it's got that Middle Eastern, look at that little Middle Eastern kind of logo on the top of it. And like I said, this bottle is heavy. It's, it's not a, a light, lightweight bottle. And they're very fancy with their packaging. They got, got the height, almost like the hologram. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they've got the hologram right there. And so... For 35 bucks, ooh, for greatness. What I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start putting links in the descriptions for you guys to check out some colognes. For you guys that want the floating the floating uh, stick, I'm going to make sure you get that information as well because I've know i given away floating sticks as well to guys that say, hey, Dre, where'd you get that from? And I went ahead and I ordered them one and I made sure that they received it or some guys that came to town, I gave them a floating stick. So definitely, definitely you want to uh, take advantage of those things. Uh, Oud is an amazing, stiff, yeah, it's, it's amazing stuff. Uh, Andre just loves it. And, and what I like about this one, it's, it's one of those smells that you can put on, and I still smell it. I put it on earlier today. I still smell it, even though I put a different cologne on once I came on it, before I came on the air. Uh, I still smell that that ooh for glory. I, I promise you guys, I promise you. It's one of those colognes, you put it on and you give it like three minutes to kind of like blend into your, 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 your skin. So when you first smell it, you just smell the cologne itself. Nah, 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 nah. Most colognes give it like three minutes, three to five minutes to really get into your pores and the oils in the cologne to kind of like dry up. That's what I mean by getting into your pores. Once your colognes start to dry up, and it really and it really gets into your pores then you smell the cologne and i'm telling you i'm telling you andre andrea is in love with this cologne it's like what kevin used to say a panty dropper for 35 bucks ooh for glory i promise you and you can take that no matter where you go and what i like about it the smell of oud also it allows you to smell different from anybody else any other man in the room there will be no other man that's walking through there with oud on. I promise you. Unless they're from the Middle East. And it doesn't smell. Now, many of you think like when you smell Middle Easterners, when you go into your local stores or at the gas station in the States, you think like somebody from India, somebody from the Middle East, Arabic. Even though it's from there, this scent is not their scent. Just want to give you that. So anybody that has a, a preconceived notion of what oud smells like, and I say Middle East, I promise you, you don't smell like them. You smell like what their you smell like what their leadership would smell like. You you would smell like an Arabian prince, not just a re regular peasant 
walking through a regular person. I don't want to say peasant, but a regular person walking through the Middle East. So, guys, I'm going to start showcasing colognes once again, because like I said, those of us that travel, especially as black men, there is no way in the world we're going to have women in, the, in South America talk about that we don't smell good. Another reason that I, we do that and have cologne is because a lot of brothers in South America can't afford the colognes we have. They can't afford the $35 that we come out of. They can't afford to get a Creed of Crenti, a Creed of, uh, 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 Creed of Ventus. They can't afford that. They can barely afford Allure, Sport, or Extreme. They can't afford the colognes that we get. And so when you walk out, you smell like something that she's never smelled before. Especially to Afro-Colombians, Afro-Brazilians, Venezuelans. So definitely, man, when you pack your, like I always say, the three C's you should always pack when you travel. Your clothes, well, really four. Your cash, your clothes, your colognes, and your condoms. Those should be your four things that you should be having with you whenever you travel. If not cash, your cards, that's another C. But definitely, definitely, you should have your colognes and your condoms and your clothes, without a doubt. All right, guys, like I said, we're going to be now. Usually you guys already know Andre and I uh, come together on Friday evenings and I mean, come together on Sunday evenings. But your girl is just she tired. It's been Mother's Day and they've been celebrating with the grandmothers and all the other uh, uh, individuals. Shout out to my boy. I'm going to get some shout outs in, this, in a second. My boy, Mr. O, I'm telling you. Mr. O is just living. I'm telling you, if you guys want to see a clean young brother i'm talking about not the kevin samuels it, see what kevin did what brother kevin did for a lot of us is allowed us dudes that like fashion to enjoy fashion on youtube a lot of us that we have suits we got suits galore we got the bow ties we got the nice hat collections and kevin allowed us to be and enjoy that side of us that fashion side of us that a lot of us enjoy i'm from the i'm from the 70s i'm from that 70s 80s and, and 90s realize i was a prep you know everybody anybody in the audience in in, in, the, in the uh in the chat know what the preps were you know i dressed like the like the cosby kids back in the day not just hip-hop so i had I, I always had my blazers i always had my trench coats always had those things i've always was about fashion style Remember the collars that you used to pull up? The, you used to put the polo, polo collar up in the back back in the day. Your polo collar with the remember those days? Yeah, I was always some type of prep back in the day. So I've always been to the style, fashion. The other reason why I like to look different because I always like the old school gangsters, the the James Cagneys and and, and the dudes that 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 you know that uh, uh, that look good, but they test something up in the community. That was me, even when I was thugging. Mind you, I'm I'm the boss. My workers look like thugs. I'm the boss. They look like streets. I'm getting them out of jail. I'm looking like the attorney coming through. Look like a young attorney coming through. They ain't even know that I'm the one that's. I'm the dude I was doing the do. I was the I was the boss. I'm the one that's. Man, they ain't no man. Listen, if they knew what was inside of some of them briefcases I was carrying, those attaché cases I was carrying, please. Back in the day. But because I dress nice, they automatically assume, and I purposely kept Wall Street journals and the Economist magazines with me back in the day. I'm telling them myself now. The police actually thought I was a young professional, not knowing I got, I'm dirty. I'm riding dirty, dirty. If they get the dogs out, I was in trouble back in the day. So definitely, man, I like Mr. O's channel because in spite of you know what the representation of what kevin brought to the table mr o and hef on their channel that's who they are it's not, it's not like these young brothers put on a suit and they take it off off air these guys are clean very articulate good dudes out of out of texas and i'm telling you these guys have a great channel and if you want to learn something when it comes to uh uh, uh i think it's polyamorous 
correct me if I'm wrong, relationships where you got uh, ladies and men that may agree to have other individuals in and consider themselves into a larger relationship, kind of like a, a tailor-made dreams is. I'm telling you guys, these guys are very thorough, very down-to-earth brothers. So make sure you subscribe to Mr. O is Just Living. We got victory in the building. Good dude. Good. That's a good man right there. That's a good man. Let me figure out which pair of glasses I want to wear today. But yeah. And, uh, you know, my condolences to Kevin Samuels. We're going to keep Kevin Samuels' mom in prayer, too. I mean, just think about it. First of all, Kevin was the only child, so she doesn't have any, any children that she can lean on to keep her comforted in this time of, 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 you know, of sadness. She doesn't have anybody that, that she can say, you know, uh, what my other children are there. She only had Kevin. And then a couple of days later, after she loses her child, it's mother's day. Can you imagine being mother's day and you lose your, your son, your, your 50 plus year old son, you lose him a couple of days before mother's day. So that that is the issue that we're going to keep her in prayer on. So let's let's definitely keep her in prayer. Top of the evening, victory in the building. Charles is in the building as well. Always Mr. Number One. Good evening, y'all. Hope y'all having y'all doing well uh, this past weekend. We had a good weekend this past weekend. You know, Andrea took me to this this. You know, you know, guys. You know how you know you may have that your, your feet look good. But you got the one or two toenails that just ain't looking as good as they should. Well, Andre, Andre took me to a foot specialist this weekend. Boy, got my, like I said in the last episode, got a brother feet looking like he three months old. Brand new toes. So, yeah. And then, then, uh, <laughs> oh, so you didn't think I was going to tie the tie, huh, Charles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I've been I've been tying bow ties. One of the things that I learned, the first thing that I learned once I got out the feds, I told myself I want to learn how to tie a tie. And I want, a, you know, Windsor knots and all different type of knots. I actually know how to tie about uh, seven different knots with the normal tie. And I also want to learn how to tie a bow tie. And I know guys that are in the fashion industry look good. Can't even tie a bow tie. I'm like, how the hell you in the fashion industry? You can't even tie bow tie. <laughs> so I'm like, man, how come my nation of Islam brothers are the only brothers that know how to tie bow tie? So yeah, we got to we got to make sure we know how we're, not, we, we're we're very diverse in our fashion. I never tied a bow tie before. Uh, where's uh, Dane Jones? Oh yeah, <laughs> when you need him. Yeah, yeah. And there's a lot of videos on YouTube uh, for tying ties. I mean, like like me and Mr. Oh, we always exchange videos of guys that are speed tying. There are guys that can wrap the tie around their hand, wrap it around their neck and tie it in seven seconds. Little things like that. So I like having guys that like fashion, like styles. It's not just about the suits, uh, but it's also about even dudes that could, that could pull off a, a nice uh, one inch mock mock a uh, shirt or sweater uh, a dude that can pull off a nice leather jacket you know kevin used to um, kevin used to always pull off those nice uh leather or his suede jackets the deuce that brown suede jacket he used to rock all the time when you would see him outside also your hat game mr o mr o made me say it's all right to wear your hats on youtube so I pick up a lot from all, all the other guys that are about fashion, too, because Mr. O hat collection, him and Hef, their hat collection is crazy. Slam the door. Andre. Yeah, yeah. If I slam that door, I, I hear from Andre. I hope so. Scared of those uh, those low-key uh, prepaid uh, mail hashtag. Oh, I'm dipping. I'm dipping the conversation. Uh, fragrance of the week. Yes, yes, that's the fragrance of the week. Once again, the fragrance of the week is oud, oud for glory. And I'm telling you guys, if you if you don't get any cologne in your collection, and if you rock it every once in a while, this is one of those colognes that that will definitely catch women' attention. It will definitely is not too strong, but it stands out enough to where you like. There's not a dude in this room that smells like me. And you you know that. Most dudes 
don't know about oud. They don't know about the descent of oud. Like I said, it's more of a Middle Eastern. Uh, I actually watched a uh, special on the on the tree, the special tree, man. I watched a three hour special on the tree where they get oud from. I mean, man, in the Middle East, just a bark of the tree goes for five, six thousand dollars. Because it's aged like wine. A lot of guys don't realize oud is aged. So that's another reason why your cologne is staying out. Because the scent of oud. And you you also have synthetic ouds, of course. Or synthetic scents. But uh, I'm telling you guys. If you want to look good. Smell good for the ladies. Get you that. Go to Amazon. Get you that oud for glory. And uh, yeah. I have that cologne. Yeah. It's, fi it's fire. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is it's definitely fire. It's one of those that you can wear. Um, you don't want to wear it every day because you don't want it to be your... It's hard, let's put it like this. It's one of those colognes. It's hard not to wear every day because it has such a signature about it that you're like, man, listen, I can rock this every day. Andrea, Andrea already on me about ordering a second bottle. I just got this bottle about two weeks ago. She's already on me about, I'm going to go ahead and get you a second bottle. <laughs> and you can also buy oud with hugo boss has a nice oud out as well they're one of the top ouds as well ladies appreciate a good smelling brother in colombia absolutely correct colombian women love 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 a good smelling man that's one thing and like i mentioned before quite often the good women are looking for the man that smell one of the signs of being a good man is that you smell good and so uh, she appreciates the fact that you're taking, out to, taking time out to smell good. But I don't want to just ramble. Let me go ahead and, and let you. WD in the building. He used my idea about putting, uh, putting stuff in the description. Yes, put it in the description. Because I didn't think about that before, how many men and, and women appreciate uh, the little things. And so I said, you know what? Let me start putting some of these things in the description. So put some of these links in the description. And like I said, I've, I've put with a floating stick. It's, it's not even as big as, as, as it looks on Kevin's show. It's, you see how small it is? It's not even the size of my, my wrist. It's not as big, but when Kevin has it right in front of you, it looks bigger than what it is, right? And then at the bottom of it is where you will put the batteries. It takes four batteries, and that's what keeps the floating stick going. So for those of you that might be interested in having that as, you know, an item on your desk or just an item that you use to to kind of like remind you of the good old days with Kevin uh, or just something that that this is a talking piece. Because I know I got a, I know a guy he had his has it in his house. I gave him one when the floating sticks. He said, man, people come in my house and they're like, wow, where did you get that from? Because Kevin put it on the map. Yeah, you got to have that body wash and water. Yeah, make sure you take care of that, brothers. Make sure you have proper lotion. That's all you need. There you go. Oh, Charles, man, you ain't no, ain't no, I might try, man. You got to get your cologne game up. If you are a man, and I'm just talking about, I, I'm talking about, I know some of the most thugging dudes, thugging dudes that I'm talking about dudes that just rock wife beaters and T-shirts and Timberlands. And even they have a good cologne collection. I know some dudes, man, that's some thugs with some cologne collections. They even go along like, listen, I got my J's. I got my cologne. You can't tell me nothing. Because I know some dudes, man, shoot. <laughs> I know some dudes that's like, I know some rich dudes, man, that just dress casual with a regular T-shirt, regular jeans on, nice boots. Man, them dudes put cologne on. You can smell that they got money. And then don't let me find out our favorite entertainer's cologne. I'm like, oh, so that's what they're wearing? Okay, let me get that. And usually it's on point. KS Signature, yeah, into the music. Yeah, we're going to be rocking KS Signature music for, uh, for, for, for uh, the rest of this month. So anytime I come on the live stream without Andrea, we're going to start off representing KS for the rest of the month. Dubai Mall uh, smells like oud. Yes, yes, I can imagine. I can't wait to go to Dubai, man. You talking about a brother that's gonna be shopping? <sighs> oh yeah. Uh, brother should not smell like 
smell like last Thursday. Correct. If you are stick, even man, even, even before you go to bed, gentlemen, gentlemen, get in the habit. When you take that last shower before you get ready, I, some of you take your last shower an hour before you go to bed. Cool. Some of you take your last shower 15 minutes before you go to bed. Gotcha, brother. Before you have you a cologne that, that is at least one or two colognes that are your nighttime colognes. And I'm not just talking about nighttime for the ladies. I'm talking about a nighttime cologne. And I'm going to tell you something. When you got you a nighttime cologne and you have a little female come over to your house while she's sleeping, she can smell that cologne in, the, in your pillows. Because, you know, you're the only one there rolling on your pillows every day and night. So here she come over and she's sleeping and all she's smelling is that goodness. She going to roll over in the, in, the, in the heat of the night. In the heat of the night. So get in the habit of having you at least one or two night. I got nighttime colognes that are like they're not the most expensive ones. They smell really good. Like uh, like Nautica, that Nautica, that blue in the blue, the, the blue cologne that only costs like 15 bucks. That's a good after shower nighttime cologne even though it is a beachy smell but is it is a really good fresh smell it makes you feel fresh fresh out the shower fresh better than your deodorant better than anything else you know you got your aftershave and then you hit yourself with a few spritz not too many because you're going to be going to bed in about an hour anyway and i'm telling you boy some nighttime cologne man women down here in south america they ain't used to men knowing to wear a nighttime cologne they ain't even used to men wearing a daytime cologne. Let's be real, fellas. Let's be real. They aren't even used to men that rock a cologne in the daytime. So when you rocking one in the evening, you ain't got nothing on but your boxers or nothing on but your but but your but your uh, your, your gray sweats or nothing on but a t-shirt and some shorts. You know, some 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 uh, some uh, uh, sports shorts. You just chilling. You know, you just took your last shower today. I'm telling you, have you a signature cologne that's that's that that your woman knows that it's a nighttime, it's winding down, he doesn't have too much on, even just two sprays, one, two, and maybe a, a third one on your wrist and you should, bam. Why do you put it on your wrist? Because you move your hand around while, sometimes while you're in bed and that scent goes to flowing. The other place where you wanna put cologne, you wanna put your hand out, no, no, I'm, I'm, being, I'm not being graphic, but I'm, I'm sure you guys, okay? And I learned this from a woman. You want, the other place when you put your cologne is you want to put your hand right here. Put your hand right here. Spray, spray. See what I'm saying? You don't want nothing to get underneath. Put your hand right here. Spray, spray. Right, right, right below your stomach, your belly button, that area, your pelvis area. You want to put you want to spray, spray in that area. And I'm telling you. Because there are some women that love when they, they love to the smell like when they getting it in, and then you smelling good down there too. But now, mind you, I, I said put your hand over your private part, but between your belly button and your pelvis area, a quick spray, nothing too much, just a quick spray. Learned that a while back from a from a female. It ain't nothing like smelling good down in that area, and she giving you some skull. And a lot of guys don't know about that one. So I'm giving you a good tip. All right. Uh, as a man, we, uh, as a man with allergies, are often triggered by cologne. Oh, man, wow, colognes. I'm often in search for uh, a high quality cologne. Uh, my favorite scents lately have been uh, close to the, oh, the fairy. Uh, uh, the, uh, let me pronounce that right. The Fahrenheit. 32 by Dior. Absolutely correct. I, I, man, I like those Fahrenheit. Uh, I think I think they have like three different types out, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I do like the Fahrenheit. It's, it's the long, slender bottle, so I know exactly which one you're talking about. The long, slender bottle is kind of like shape, like a like an eye in a sense. It's good talking colognes with you guys, even though we even have, hadn't hit the topic yet. Now, remember, tonight's topic is about... Tonight's topic is about uh, finding a good woman. I'm going to tell you how we got started. Then I'm going to go back to the comments. 
Andre and I, oftentimes we sit around and we talk about certain things. And I know a lot of times guys be like, man, Andre, you so lucky, man. You found you a good woman, blah, blah, blah. And so me and Andre talk about it. And I asked her, I say, babe, are there any good women in Colombia? Like really good women? Like was, was, did I come up? Was I, I know I was strategic, but was I lucky with my strategy? Did I really find a good woman? I know you're not the only good woman in this country because I've met some good women. And uh, she's like, no, but there are some things that men have to look out for when they're looking for a good woman to stay away from when it comes to these bad women. So we're going to talk about some of the things that you should look out for and some of the things that you sh that, that are good and some of the things that you should look out for. That's a challenge when it comes to some of these women in South America. All right. <laughs> yeah thank you thank you uh uh gp i just realized what you put in thank you brother thank you very much for that and the other thing I'm, as you guys watch andre if you go to andrea wallace tv on instagram 90 percent of her photos are all fashion and style and at the same time i took most of those photos because i like photography so we have our camera back here of course we got all type of lenses that we have we have all type of small cameras back there that we do our you uh, do for our youtube videos so we're going to start posting more of those i still got dr videos to, to send to you guys all right andrea don't forget that you must have a, a come on man man come on you gotta have a watch collection you gotta have a good watch collection I got this box for Christmas, my watch box for Christmas from from Andre's family. So you gotta have a, and I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, 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 a fan of of uh, uh, Invicta watches. So I've got, I've got this Invicta watch. I got this one here. I've got uh, one right here. This is an Invicta watch, the, the the Lupa. I've got this this one here. Is one of my Victor watches, and this is my my favorite, my Russian diver. And what I what I like about it is that you unscrew it on the side, and then you wind it up. It's a wind up watch, watch, of course, and then you wind it back up. So yeah, you got to have a heck of a watch collect. Now, walking around Colombia, the only way I get away with my watch collection is because. Oh, I feel safer with my watch collection. I said that you can't feel safe. I feel safer is because I uh, we have a vehicle. We have our own car. So I, I feel safer getting in and out of parking garages, like in the mall and things like that, compared to just walking down the street. And I know some of you guys are Invicta fans as well. So let me go on down here. Towards, towards the bottom. I know you guys have been talking. Okay. Uh, what do you like about Colombian women and how easy they can uh, lie in your face uh, even after having great time? Yes, they can do that, without a doubt. Uh, also, how uh, also how can uh, change plans without telling you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to you guys with the Super Chats. First of all, victory in the building. I appreciate you guys for the super chats. Uh, pass the offering plate. Yes, guys. We appreciate all the donations that you give because we're actually going to go ahead and uh, every donation that we get, we donate a certain amount and then the rest of it goes directly into the, into the, uh, for the channel advancing. We're actually ordering new microphones. We want to get the, like the top notch microphones like Kevin had and other YouTubers have. And those, those microphones, those are the ones that we're going to be getting uh, in a couple of weeks. So we, we're actually putting the money towards that. Uh, Dre, check out. Okay, let me let me write that one down. Let me write that one down. Anytime I get, anytime you guys have a good suggestion on the cologne, always, always let me know about it because I will definitely uh, purchase. I am, the, my two things are watches and colognes. Shout out to uh, to to the, the the YouTube channel by the brother needs watches. 
If you guys want to watch a real great channel that has to do with watches, uh, uh, any advice on where I can uh, find off-duty female co- <laughs> off-duty female cop? Uh, you know that that's why I put that photo in there because if you look at the photo on the thumbnail, it's the exact same person. You're like, man, she's so hot, but yet she has a career. Those are the type of women that you guys want to definitely. Uh, oh, Mercedes Benz has an excellent cologne. Excellent, excellent cologne, man. Yes, they do. Mercedes has a good one. Ferrari has a good one. I'm trying to think of the other brand. I, I'm not sure if it's Porsche. It's one more that has a good one that just came out over the last year or two. Okay, he says, uh, Dre, tell us tell us more about your... On my appointment, on my podiatrist appointment, or was it uh, a specialist? It was. It was actually like I said, if I, which I don't know what a podiatrist is. Maybe the foot doctor and hands doctor. Uh, you know how sometimes come on, let's be real, fellas. You know sometimes we we wear our sports shoes and we're working out so much that we don't think about we don't think about uh, our toes. So every once in a while you get that one or two, to- all the rest of your toes might be good, but you might get that one or two toe. It ain't looking so good. That nail ain't looking so good like the rest of the toes. So down here in Colombia, and it was very inexpensive, man. I mean, she went in and cleaned out every toe, made sure everything was all right. She made, sh- she she had this like, like the dentist. Zzz, and she filed it down like zzz, and had it looking brand dude i'm telling you my toes and feet have not looked this good in years and i have all I, one of the gifts i always wanted to give myself was get my toes on track because i'm like okay i got my teeth done check next thing i'm going to get the laser eye surgery check the next thing you know working out getting fitness lo- losing weight i've done that i've lost over 30 pounds since i've been here check Okay, so what else do I need to do? Of course, I need to work on Espanol. So that's another one coming down the turnpike. Uh, but I always want to get my feet on point. And Andre was like, okay. He, thank you very much, Charles. Uh, and Andre was like, come on, Dre. Let's let's go get your feet done. And she set an appointment. That's what I love about my wife. That's what I'm talking about, the example of a good woman. I didn't have to ask her, babe, would you set an appointment for me? So, uh, baby, could you find a specialist? Andre was on top of it, like she was reading my mind. And she was like, hey, babe, I got something somewhere I want to take. What's my favorite cologne for men? Andre was like, somewhere some, uh, somewhere where I want to take you to. Uh, and um, mine is Sauvage by Dior. I'm a Sauvage junkie. Man, I love me some Sauvage. I know it is a brand that has been out for like three years, four years now. And I know that it is... Uh, is very common cologne among men that that like their their colognes, but I'm a Sauvage Dior fanatic. Man, that's the that that peppery smell. Ah, women just love that smell, dude. Number two on my list, of course, is Creed Aventus. You you gotta you gotta respect the king of colognes. They've been doing it since the, since uh uh seven what 1770. They were doing they they were making colognes ever since the Revolutionary War. So you got you got to respect them. And this I know it's a little bit more expensive, but that Creed Aventus is the one. So the Savage and that Creed Aventus are my number two number, uh, number one number two. Uh, number three would be I won't I won't lie. This Oud has pushed itself straight to the front. This Oud for glory it has pushed itself right up to the front, man. Uh, another one, which is a unisex smell that a lot of dudes can't pull off, was the first episode of Kevin Samuels uh, ever did, and that was the uh, the Tom Ford Black Orchid. Only dudes like Michael Jackson, me, Prince, confident dudes can only pull that one off. Regular regular dudes from the hood, no offense, you have to have a certain personality to pull off a unisex smell. You got it's not that you straight or gay, it's not like you bore George or George Michael. It is it, it takes a man that basically you don't care what other men think, you only care what the women think. That's what black orchid is. Black orchid is a smell, you don't give a dang what a man gotta say about it. All you care is that long as the woman care about it, and that's what that's what black orchid is. 
Oh, yeah, that, I know that. Yeah, yeah, that ohm. That ohm is. Yeah, guys, let me know what your favorite colognes are. Yeah. Another great YouTube channel y'all want to watch, man. This dude is a 2 million subscribers. I, I've been following this kid. He's a German kid. I've been following this dude for two dudes, two YouTubers you want to follow. You want to follow the brother out of Atlanta, uh, the, the uh, bow tie fragrance guy. That's my dude. I forget what his, what his uh, the channel name is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Armani Cole, stop it. Come on now. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Armani, uh, uh, really, uh, also that Hugo Boss's collection, you can't go wrong with a Hugo Boss cologne. You really can't. Just about all of theirs. Uh, I just purchased, Andre just purchased for me for Christmas. One of my gifts was the uh, Hugo Boss uh, Intense. They have Hugo Boss Absolute, just like they have the Marnie Absolute, and they have the Hugo Boss uh, Absolute. Yes, I love that Fahrenheit collection as well. He said, uh, Andre, I see you are into looking good. Are you a metrosexual male? Uh, to a certain extent, I can't say that. I used to sit back and uh, deny it. Man, I ain't metrosexual. I ain't, man, listen, I, I beat you down. I, well, bring it on, bring it on. Now I'm like, man, yeah, man, yeah, I'm metro, man. I ain't going to even lie. I like my nails looking good. I go get my toes done. Kevin was metro. Anybody want to sit back and deny Kevin was metro? Even though he was fashion, they lying. They lie now. Can Kevin with his six four uh, frame and his uh, uh, kung fu karate uh, background kick some tail? Yeah, he probably could kick somebody's tail. Kevin always talked about the fact that he that he encouraged men to either take boxing or some type of karate or some type of athletic sport. Uh, in their history, whether you play football or hockey or basketball in the in the past, something that challenges you when it comes to other male and challenging yourself. So at the, at that at that same time, yeah, I could sit back to a certain extent. And we we have a problem with the word metro because we sit back and we say, especially metro, we in our minds as men, we sit back and think like that means homo. You know, so kind because of, it sounds so much, it rhymes. You like metro homo? Oh man, that's gay. No, bro, you just like style and fashion. That's it. Actually, the, the Metro man is nothing but the modern day Renaissance man. Most of us, now, now if I were to say I'm a Renaissance man, meaning I like art, I like to read, I like beautiful women, I like, come on now, I like, y'all, yeah, man, come on, y'all see my wife. I like, be, I, don't, I don't have no ugly friends. No ugly, if you ugly, you will not be taking a photo with me. I, I give you a dap, but I don't, I don't track ugly people. And ugly people not attracted to being around me. Ugly women don't like me. Fat and out of shape women don't like me. I, I know some women that are big, but they look good with the curves. So I'm not talking about big women. I'm talking about women that, that got more in the front than in the back. And far as stomach. Yeah. I like style i'm a libra i like style i like luxury i like a nice vehicle i like my car to be clean i like my car to smell good you know last night we picked up some guys uh that just came to town and the first thing they said when we went out to dinner they were like oh my god bro your car smell good what is that and i looked over to andrea and i was like she chose it He's like man your car smell like a brand new car with that undertone cherry scent because Andrea has these little sticks, these little uh, smell good sticks that she puts up under the seats. And it makes the car smell like, I'm talking about new money, new money. So I love style. And, I, and, and you know, when I was young and everybody else was dressing like NWA all the time, I had my times when I was sagging too. And I was, I was and my time when I was like LL on one pants leg up on my sweats. I had all, I walked through all, I lived through all that era, all of hip hop era. So I have my times and my moments with that, too. Some of you guys will see me walk up on you with some sneaks and everything on as well. But that makes me a well-rounded man. Some dudes are limited. That's what makes a renaissance man has the ability to walk into any presence. I can walk around with the thugs and go to the, to the, craziest, con to the craziest concert, but then I can go to a fundraiser. Some of you dudes will never be invited to a fundraiser. You know. Even if you got the money, you're not going to be invited because you don't carry yourself like you could mingle that type of atmosphere. You don't carry yourself like you know how to mingle and shake hands and introduce yourself and talk about what you do. And talk about investments. 
you 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 you're not the type <laughs> you're not the type that there's a difference between having a sexy chick on your arm and a sexy hot chick that looks like she's got a brain on your arm even if she's a pro remember kevin used to always say i will hire pros for two thousand dollars to go to business events why he said because these women were intellectual women as well as beautiful women and so these women could mingle in that type of crowd to where some of you guys the type of chick you got with that blue hair and, and the way she wear her dreads, and nothing wrong with dreads, but the way your woman wear her dreads, man, ain't no way in here. Ain't no way in. Some of y'all, y'all don't realize, some of y'all dudes, when y'all come to Columbia, and y'all be like, hey, well, I want to meet you and Andrea. And when you just meet me, I do that on purpose. Yeah. Some of you dudes, your date is so raggedy. I'm not about to introduce my wife to your date. She raggedy. She is raggedy. Some of y'all got some of the raggediest women, man, that y'all choose from, man, that I'm not about to introduce my wife to. This is my wife. This ain't my girlfriend. This ain't somebody. This ain't a game to us. Once these cameras go off, this is my wonderful, beautiful, attractive, fun, intellectual, great, pleasing wife. So I'm not about to, any renaissance man does not put his wife in the presence of just any old thing. Now, does Andre and I, do Andre and I go out and just have some beers and kick back and laugh and giggle and hang out with people? Yeah. We ain't bougie. Well, I am, but she not. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I expect you to bring respect to you by bringing the right people into your life and that's what our topic is about today are there any really for real seriously are there any good uh colombian women i know i skipped somebody's question i had i had pulled up and i'm sorry that i skipped your question brother uh besides smelling good and wearing nice clothes and like i say your nice clothes could just be a clean uh t-shirt and a clean pair of jeans and that's that's been ironed and a nice pair of shoes sometimes when you just gotta uh, sometimes you need your accessories to stand out more than your outfit sometimes you guys will just see me in a white t-shirt and some nice jeans maybe a pair of boots on or maybe just a pair of tennis shoes on i got my white air force one sitting right over here i put my air force ones on but the part that stands out might be the watch the cologne you see what I'm saying? The watch and cologne may stand out the most. Some of you guys, you got a great shoe collection. You, so your Jordans may be the part that stand out the most other than the clothes. So it's not always the clothes that need to stand out. But you need to have at least one thing that stands out in the crowd. Whether it be you guys. What was the thing that, that caught a lot of people's eye about Kevin? Not just the suits. What else? Not just his colognes. When he stepped his glasses game up. Kevin's glasses, those lenses, top of the line. That's what made him famous. Those lenses were just as famous as him. How often did you see Kevin, other than taking his glasses off to clean them, that's the only time you really saw Kevin without glasses on. You didn't see Kevin in contacts too often. Now, of course, not everybody wears contacts. I do at times, but not everybody wears contacts. So my point is, sometimes it's not about the clothes only. Sometimes it may just be your accessories, some nice sunglasses you got on. It's a nice day, and you got you some nice glasses on. You killing the game. Sometimes you got a nice watch on. You killing the game. A nice ring on. You killing the game. Your cologne smell good, and your outfit is just a regular drink some beers outfit. You ain't fly about nothing. But as soon as you walk up on that female and she smell you, this one thing I love about colognes more than anything, your cologne walks up and introduces you to a female before you even get there. Before you even get to her, your cologne is already there. I'm not saying a strong scent cologne. But what I'm saying is as you approaching, all of a sudden her, her senses start kicking in and she start all that, all those pheromones and all that estrogen all that get to kicking in. She, what, what is this smell? 
especially here in Colombia. Especially here in East Colombia. Yeah, with your loafers, with some jeans, nice jeans, with your cologne on. That's it. That's it. Make sure your breath smell it good too, fellas. Come on now. Come on. I keep I keep this with me all the time, and I even refill it. It's the it's the Crest uh, spray spray container. I refill it with with a, a mouthwash. And there are times when me and Andre have just finished eating. Here you go, baby. Me, if we don't have any Tic Tacs with us or any gum, little spray. And these little tops pop right off. So you don't have to throw it away. The tops pop right off. You refill it just like one of the little small cologne uh, bottles. All you do is just pop this 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 top off. It, it pops off. You refill it. And you just pop it back on. Like, pop it right back on. And you carry it everywhere you go. And bam. You got a meeting. Good. You see a female on the other end and you want to go dance with her. Good. You see, you see, you just round your boys. And you just ain't trying to how you be the one with your breath stinking. Good. Give yourself a little spray. And like I said, I've had this container for two or three years. I always clean it out because you don't you don't want any bacteria or anything in it. But for the most part, and they sell these at Walmart and Walgreens and everywhere else. So yeah, it's the little things. It's not even, it's not about you being expensive. Remember, I said I was a prep. Preps in the 80s, we got our clothes from the thrift stores. That's where we got our long, those extra big, all those clothes on a Cosby show, how they used to dress. We used to always go to the thrift stores and get, get those get those outfits and the jackets and our, and our trench coats and all that. Because in the 80s, ain't, no, ain't nobody have any money. The only thing you had that was probably new was your jeans and your shoes. That was it. But everything else was part of like, prep, being a prep was about fashion. It was about how you could take something that cost next to nothing and make a fly outfit out of it. Flossing is paramount uh, for, uh, what do you say, holistic? Uh, oh, halitosis game, yeah. <laughs> Brush your tongue, please, yes. Brush your tongue clean between you or make sure you dry between your toes brush your tongue gentlemen and make sure you always dry between your toe toes the last thing you want to have is a foot fungus growing just because you don't dry between your toes it's not athletes feet because half y'all don't even work out anymore so let's not even blame it on athletes feet it's not your tennis shoes that's why you wonder what that smell is that's coming from your tennis shoes and why your feet stink so bad Half of it is because you aren't drying between your toes. So now you've got a, either a fungus or an infection that is taking place because of that moisture that stayed from when you took a shower, took a bath. So he's absolutely correct. Make sure you brush your tongue, guys. Make sure you brush your tongue. That's a must. But also make sure you dry between your toes. And these are just little tips that we all give each other. These it's little things that we learn as time progressed. Many of us didn't grow with fathers, so I didn't, I didn't have nobody in the beginning to tell me all these little things. I had to learn as, as time goes on. He said, this Elvis uh, must be a troll. Oh, we got a troll? I didn't know that. We got El Elvis in the building? Okay, let's see what Elvis is talking about. I've been size better than the clothes away clothes. I heard Kevin Samuels was a big fan of, of vagina, like most men. Uh, did he suffer from heart condition? I don't know. I don't know. I know he was a cancer survivor, and I do know that uh, quite often when you're, and my mom was a cancer survivor, and my sister was, and I know that when you're a cancer survivor, your immune system is not like everybody else's. So stuff that you and I will be easy for, easy for us to get over or our bodies could fight cancer survivors quite often if you guys are cancer survivors or know someone cancer survivors they survived the cancer but it put a toll on their bodies so we don't know what 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 happened to the brother is that except for one thing that he passed on so there are so many conspiracy theories that are out there uh regarding him and the young lady all i'm saying is let's keep his mom in prayer like i said what mother wants to bury her only child 
You've had your child for over 56 years. Kevin Samuels just celebrated his birthday in March. Just celebrated 56. Not knowing in less than, what, 90 days? Think about it. You, you got 90 days left in the world. So let's keep his mind. You know, she got 90 days left to be a mother. Just imagine your parent. Just imagine you fathers out there. You got 90 days left to be a father. 90 days. That's it. That's your only child. You've had that child forever and a day. You put that child through college. You put that child that you, you've been through the ups and downs. You, you see your child going into good relationships and bad relationships. You see your child find its niche and become famous. Come on, fathers. I'm talking to you. You see your child become famous. And in 90 days, you are no longer a parent. No longer. It's done. Your parenting is done. You don't get a chance to see your child see you off the glory while you're laying in bed and giving your last breath. Because your child is already gone. Your daughter, your son is gone, dad. Gone. And maybe some of you dads have already lost a child. And so you know how his mother feels. So let's respect her, you know, as a mother on Mother's Day. Can we do that? Can we at least shout out to all the mothers on Mother's Day? Can we at least respect this woman who lost her child less than, less than five days ago? So let's do it like that, Elvis in the building let's do it like that all right we got the live stream queen felicia in the building is not a live stream you don't have felicia or gail there that's it that's those that are number number one number two on every channel on every youtube channel they always on tour encouraging somebody all right let's it, it, we've i've been talking for an hour <laughs> I haven't gotten to the point yet. Like I said, our topic tonight is finding a good one. There are good women here in Colombia, but a lot of times we're making mistakes when it comes to choosing the right one. And, and so why don't I set my alarm to where it doesn't go off? Okay. One of the signs that you guys are going to have to... One of the mistakes that we're making in the black community is... Not that we don't talk to each other. I think that one thing that Kevin taught us is to talk to each other. The mistake that we're doing is we're not listening to each other. Men and women do listen differently. We hear differently. Many of us, whether you're male or female, we are selective hearers. We hear what we want to hear. We read in the Bible or, or the Quran what we want to read. The Bible says, women, submit yourself unto the to your husband as Christ submits, uh, just as uh, the church submit to Christ. I'm not submitting. What, baby, aren't you the same one that's been dragging your man to church? Yes. Aren't you the same one that's been putting a Bible in his face? Yes. But as soon as he goes to that verse that says, baby, does this Bible say submit yourself unto, uh, unto your husband like the church submits to Christ? I don't submit to no ladies. You can't selective here. When we are traveling to other countries, we have that problem too. That's my point. We're selective hearing. We're selective uh, choosing. We're select when I give you advice, guys, don't take it by way of selection. Take it for what it is tonight, okay? When I say something, you might want to write it down. I don't care, but take it for what it is. We got to stop selective hearing because that's how we ended up being scopamined. That's how sometimes you guys think that she's the one. It's just like the one brother said, and I think I'm back to this question. Andre, how do you find a good one after you've had a woman that you thought she was the one and she smiled in your face and she lied to you anyway? That was the question. Now I remember, brother. Thank you very much. You got to follow the signs and stop denying what you're seeing. Follow the signs. Stop denying what you're seeing. For example, when it comes to good women and the women that many of us are dating, if you see or if you notice, one of the reasons why I do not date baby mothers in any country 
because statistically it is a 50 to 70 percent chance the baby daddy still breaking her back in that's one of the signs that i do why that's why i know the baby mother that you're dealing with is fine i know i know i know you come to columbia and she's sexy i got you i got you brother uh sisters same thing with you you're going down to dr or you're going to jamaica and you're dating a guy that is from the island ask him if he's a father if he's a father you better believe on that island he and taylor may russ already talked about this he already beat his baby daddy his baby mama in oh they still having sex you can believe that there's a 70 percent chance why would you sit back Knowing that there's a 70% chance why when you're looking for a good woman in South America, would you date somebody that's a baby mother knowing there's a 70% chance she is still getting her back broke in and giving her orgasms to another man? Now, if it's a situation where the baby daddy ain't around, he ain't in the picture, he ain't nowhere around, I got you. You may fall in that 30%. But why would you gamble? That's what I'm saying. That's what the brother was saying. He said, she showed me all the signs of being a good woman, just like he just said in the question. How do you choose? Well, one of the ways that you choose is stop dealing with baby mamas. Well, everybody got a baby. No, not everybody does. No, a lot of women, yes, but not everybody. When I came here to Colombia and I was dating, it will amaze you the amount of good professional women that I was dating before I met Andrea, who has no children. I met other women that I was dating that had no children. Now, when I first came here, just like a lot of you guys, yeah, I was dating baby mamas because I didn't know any better. I didn't know how Colombian men were still smashing their baby mama. I didn't know that. But now that I knew, when I finally realized it, I was like, oh, nah, 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 nah. You ain't going to be sitting up here giggling in my face. And at the same time, some brothers uh, don't like that lonely search. Yes. Some dudes just impatient. They just, they think, okay, I got five days. I'm only going to be here five days. Now I'm talking about guys that have probably decided. I'm not, now, now mind you, we all had our, our, got our fun girls. We got the ladies that we just, doesn't matter if she got kids or not. These are the fun ladies. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about some of you guys that are planning on moving down to Argentina. You plan on moving to Brazil. You plan on moving to Colombia. You plan on moving to Panama, to Mexico. You plan on moving overseas to Thailand or Philippines. What's one of the things that you do not have, you cannot afford to ignore if you're looking for a good woman? You cannot afford to ignore these things. First things first, does she have any kids? Yes, is the father in the picture? No, okay, cool. Then you might got a good chance. I'm gonna talk about, and I don't mean in the picture. Uh, I don't mean in the picture like they don't kick it anymore. They're just co-parents. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't live in that, she doesn't live in that city anymore where the baby daddy is. I mean, she doesn't live in that country anymore where her baby daddy is. If her and her baby daddy still live in the same city or on the same island, bruh, take it from me. Do not kick it with her. But Dre, don't butt me. Remember I said, do not selective here tonight. Just take what I'm saying for what it is. Don't add a grain of salt. Don't sit back and put no butt, butt, butt. But if you with somebody that got some kids right now, now, mind you, if you're an older gentleman and you find a baby mother and she's over 35, you have a better chance at that she is being that she will be faithful to you than a woman that's under 35. Because a woman that's over 35, she's gotten to the point to realize her baby daddy ain't here. She real here. 
The other thing is if she has an older child or children, that's a more of a benefit for you than a guy that is dating somebody that's under 35 and has a four-year-old or three-year-old. You better believe statistically that baby daddy's still breaking her in good. Good. She only with you for the extra funding. You paying the child support the baby daddy ain't <laughs> or can't afford, but he giving her what he can. So once again, if you are a guy that has a woman, A, over 35, B, her children are over, older, like over 10, over 15, you have a higher rate of having a good, successful relationship and finding a good woman that has children than these women under 35. And I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I see every day. Colombian men, if you have a baby, if a Colombian woman has a baby by a dude in her younger years, that's still his. Okay. Hey, fellas, remember back in the day when we was young? Remember that, that cute girl with the, with the, that was a cheerleader? And everybody wanted to be like, I'm going to get her pregnant so she'll be with me forever. You know, because you're young and dumb, you think it's stupid in high school. And so some dudes did it. Remember that? A lot of dudes talk like that back in the, back, especially back when I was a shorty. Back in the 80s and 90s, dudes used to talk like that all the time. Oh, man, shoot. Man, I, I want her to have my baby. Remember dudes used to be like that? Oh, man, she's so fine. I want her to have my baby. And it wasn't even about the baby. It was about keeping her in your life so you can have her so she could be yours. You're so young, we don't know what yours is, but we wanted it. Same thing here in Colombia, same thing in Brazil, same thing in Belize, same thing in Mexico. Thank you, brother. They still like that. I want her to be my baby mama. Bro, you got two kids and, and two baby mama. I want her to I want her to be my next baby mama. So remember, the older the woman, statistically, if she has children, I know guys that are in marriages right now with women in DR that have children, and they are happy. Why? Because they married an older woman that is mature. What I mean by older in, in, you know, in South America or in the islands is over 35. 35 is not old. Now, if you're like me, I don't have any kids, and I want to have, have some shorties. So... I purposely look for a woman that or start dating women that did not have any children that were young enough to still be able to infertile enough to have one or two children. That's what age Andre is. I purposely did that. I didn't go out, look for somebody that already had a kid or two. And probably was tired of having babies. And then get with them. So. Number one thing, if you are looking for a good woman in South America, if you want to be with somebody that's a baby mama, at least go for over 35. Most of us are 38, 39, 40, 41, 42 in our 50s and 60s anyway. So 35 is not that old compared to our numbers anyway. So she's still looking young. She's still looking sexy. Like Andrea always said, the sexiest women in Colombia are all the mothers anyway. But the younger mothers, you ask it for trouble. But I'm with a younger mother now. You asking for trouble. If the father is still around, if they don't live in the same city or the same region, you have a better chance. But if they live in the same city, bruh, I'm telling you, you're going to be just like that other brother. Thinking that he got something, and you're going to get your heart broke because you're going to find out that he giving her all them good orgasms that you thought you was giving her. You can give her all the good orgasms, but he giving them, you know, you still love me orgasms. Uh, are you paying child support? Uh, the baby father isn't yet. Yeah, yes, that's what they're doing. That's what dudes do when they come from the States and they give these baby mothers a few extra dollars. 
That's what you guys are doing when you come from the States and you are paying for things for these children because you've gotten close to the mother, you've gotten close to the child, and now you're paying extra for the children. You're buying the child some, some, some nice shoes because you want to be the hero. Y'all know, know us. We always want to be some day of humanitarians everywhere we go. How come we want to be a humanitarian in every country except the United States? When the last time you bought some shoes for a child or outfit for a child for somebody else's kid in the States? No, you just had sex with the mama and you kept it pushing. Y'all come down to South America and y'all have sex with these mamas. Y'all come out of all this money and she all she got to do is show you an empty refrigerator. And all of a sudden, here you go, Western Union, Poppy, all of that. When you shouldn't have been kicked, my point is when it comes to looking for a good woman, if you plan on living in these countries, you should not have even been with her in the first place. There are too many women that do not have children that are good women that you could choose from in these countries. I'm not telling you what I know. I tell you what I did and I tell you what I experienced. I probably, I kid you not, y'all want the truth? My first year here in Colombia, before I met Andrea, I'm I'm like y'all. I'm running through them. Now, if you mess, with, now if I count my pros, they don't count because I don't care if they got kids or not. But I'm talking about regular women. One, one that had kids. And not, not, like, remember, I just said I'm running through Colombia. One that had kids. So you can't sell me on the fact that you can't run through Colombia and find women that do not have children. Go lie to somebody else. Go to your mirror and finish lying to yourself. But do not try to lie to me in regards to are there any good women in South America? First sign is, is she still kicking it with a baby, baby daddy? Yeah, we we all we all shared in all those WhatsApp groups, the empty refrigerator. Yeah, I don't even want to date women uh, with the dog, much less. It's... You heard what I said last week, I mean, or last Friday. A woman with a dog is just like a woman with a kid. Sorry, you ladies with the dogs, just as bad. Because y'all treat y'all dogs like kids. Y'all don't treat y'all dog. Men treat dogs like dogs. We let dogs be dogs. We don't try to give the dog a, three, a first name, a, a middle name, and a last name. We don't do that. We ain't putting no outfits on no dogs. You ain't going to find no heterosexual man that's going to walk into a dog outfit store and put an outfit on his dog. Men, not heterosexual men. No, we don't play that. We don't, mm -mm, that ain't nah. Yeah, that ain't us. We want our dog to look like he can test something up, even if he can't tear nothing up. Even if he ain't no killer like that. He just a player. He just like the lady dogs. But he look like he can tear something up. Ladies, your dogs will keep you lonely. I said this the other day. A lot of women are going to wake up in heaven with their dog licking on their face. That's the only person that's going to find your corpse. Some of y'all going to pass on in your sleep. I'm, and I mean this. Some of you ladies will pass on in your sleep and the only person that's going to realize that you passed on is your dog. And the only reason why you couldn't keep a man because he like, I'm not about to battle this bed with you and your dog. You got the dog at the foot of your bed. You got another dog that's laying next to you. You roll over and put your arm over that big pit bull. Ladies, you're going to die alone. And the only person that's going to find you is a dog. And the only reason he going to find you is because he hungry. That's the only reason he licking you trying to wake you up. He like, mm, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I got I to gotta use the bathroom. What's up? And he licking you like, come on, let's go. And you dead and gone. That's a sad way to go. Your dog is the only one that's going to find you. Ladies, I'm telling you, kids will keep you, little kids, will keep, little bad kids especially, will keep you lonely. And them, them dogs, you keep on being like your girlfriends and keep on taking care of them dogs. Go ahead. We will come over and bang you out. 
we will bang you out in a, even here in Colombia. Oh, don't think that this only happens in South North America. Even here in Colombia, do not mess with a chick that got dogs, but she ain't got no kids. You might as well have one, dog. A chick that got dogs has got hair everywhere. You know how much you like to eat coochie? Stop it. Now it's dog hair and a coochie? Ugh. You, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Go take a shower, girl. Dog hair just everywhere. Just everywhere. All in the bowl of cereal. All on the forks. All on the couch. You trying to hit it on the couch. You got dog hair all on your butt. Come on. Let's be real, fellas. Females with dogs, especially if they got a dog, furry dog, like a golden retriever or, or a husky, hair every day. Hair all on the TV screen. Y'all can't even watch the TV. She got to wipe the screen off like it's a car windshield. Women don't think about that because they're so used to the dog being in the house. Ladies, y'all don't think about that because you're so used to the dog being in the house. Dude, that's another one. If you got a female in Colombia and she got a dog, kick her to the curve, man. Smash her in your Airbnb, but don't take her serious. This ain't no relationship for that. I'm talking to dudes that are looking for relationships. And you, and you looking for some good women in South America and Brazil? Go ahead, take your butt to Brazil. She's so fine. She's so beautiful. She got a dog. Go ahead. I understand. You got your male desires. Break her back in a couple times. Do not fall for her. Stop telling. If I could get men to stop using the conjunction butt. If I could get men to realize if you you want to find a good woman in South America, stop using the conjunction but Andre, uh she 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 good people, she, she got kids, but she good people. Andre, uh she got a dog, but she sucked me good. Andre, uh, 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 she ain't got no job, but she cooked, she cooked me a meal. She introduced, y'all all got a conjunction, but for every, whenever y'all talking to me and I hear that conjunction, but that means that you ain't hearing a dang word I just said. Nothing. None of what we just said about don't kick it with a woman that got dogs and don't kick it with a woman under 35 that got young kids. Even if she older 35 and she got a kid that's one or two or three, you uh, no, no, you better be over 10. You need that shorty to be over 10 years old if she over 35. That means she had that shorty right around 25 years old. That's not a bad age to start having kids. If you are looking for a good woman, stop using that conjunction but all the time. Yes, it is. It's the key to excuses. Because y'all hear a truth, a truth, you'll say but and give an excuse. Remember I was talking to my boy Los on, on TaylorMade Dream on no, Chopper Pot TV the other day? And remember how I was writing down how many times he gave an excuse? It was but this, but that, but, 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 she found, but, but, but. We telling her, bro, you wasting your time. You shouldn't be doing that. You should blah, blah, blah. But, 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 but. If you got to give all those buts and none of those buts are compliments, this is nothing special about her, but she cooked me a meal. Dude, this Colombia, dang that every woman cooked. Not all, but dang near every woman cook. Your woman ain't doing nothing special. But she sucked my toes. This this South America, bro. You been to Brazil yet? Ain't nothing but freakiness over in Brazil and DR. Your woman ain't doing nothing special. But she's always there when I call. You bring in the money, dude. Most women in the world like a man that's bringing in the money, so she ain't gonna mess that up. Anytime your your butt, your conjunction doesn't make any sense when you nullify a truth that somebody just told you, that's your fault you ain't got a good woman. Number two, when it comes to finding a good woman, we just talked about this. A good woman will not play with your money or play with your time. Like the brother said about the woman 
making plans and then flaking. Now, mind you, South American women flake. No matter what country you go to, they are flaky on dates. What do I mean by that? South American women will sit up there and do two types of flakes because they do this to each other. So don't, don't trip. They do this to each other. First type of flake is they are always late for every dang thing. If we in the United States were late, like people in South America, all of us would be fired within a week. People in South America are always late for everything. You got to lie to them about the time. Uh, we're throwing a party at, uh, yeah, we, we go throw a party at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Knowing that party ain't going to start jumping until 5 o'clock at night. You got to lie to people in South America about being on time so if you're making a date with somebody you tell her two o'clock man you might as well be waiting for like 245 she got excuse you gonna be texting her i'm in the, i'm in the uber right now no she ain't she in the bathroom taking a sh she ain't in that uber she ain't even hit the shower yet so when you sit back and you see Colombia women do expect a flaker every blue moon they'll show up on time but on time, no. You say 2 o'clock, man, 2 o'clock is like 2.15 in Colombia. 2.10, 2.45, 3, 3.08. So don't think that it's just you. They do that to their friends too and family. You need a PowerPoint presentation. Yeah, I do, don't I? I, I, do, I, mean, I just do some amazing PowerPoint presentations, man. Okay, um, how's everyone doing tonight? Bruce Reigns in the building. Uh, Dre been watching you since the start, uh, but was on the treadmill. Let's go. I like that, brother. Yeah, I like that. Sometimes I got my favorite YouTubers that I watch when I'm on a treadmill in the gym, too. So I'm on with you, that brother. Um, he said, where's the best uh, city to find good women? I would say part of me. If I was... You know, I did a couple, like I did, a couple of trips to Colombia, to Medellin, like everybody else does, a couple of trips to Cartagena, blah, blah, blah. And now I decided to live here and I want to be serious to find a good woman. Me personally, I got three areas, just three. Uh, I would say my first one is Cali because they still aren't tarnished with tourists. They are very attractive, very beautiful, and they are, they are, they are very, very, very family oriented here. It's very family oriented. I, my, my partner was with a pro last night, and he was like, uh, "The pro was like, uh, I got to go. Can I get my money? It's Mother's Day tomorrow." She she was she was like, uh, "Yeah, uh, about that. Yeah, can, can I? Yeah." And she was at dinner with us. She was basically like, uh, "I got to go. Uh, can we go back to the hotel so I get my stuff, get my money, and uh, I got Mother's Day." So even pros don't care nothing about you being Mr. America with all the money. They like, man, listen, Mother's Day is family day. I got to go. I might see you Monday. Oh, I got class Monday because she in school. I got class Monday. So, so yeah, here it can. Number two, Bed and Kia. Bed and Kia is close enough. It's, it's off the coast. It's off the water. Bed and Kia. <laughs> I'm going to read you in a second, Victory. Uh Bed and Kia has uh, uh, is close enough to Cartagena without being impacted by Cartagena. You get all the bells and whistles of Cartagena without all the BS of Cartagena. That's what I like about Bed and Kia. Very beautiful women. If you like taller women, Bed and Kia has a lot of tall women. Not all of them are tall, but they have a, real, a lot of just tall Colombian women. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, it has a, it's a very strong Afro-Colombian uh, island blend in Berenkia. It is quiet outside of the, the festival time. They're supposed to be doing a cruise ship uh, in a, a year or two coming up where they're having a cruise ship coming from Berenkia, from the States to the, not, not, I don't want to say the States. I forget where it's going to be coming from. Uh, but they're going to start a cruise ship coming uh, and porting in Berenkia. So that's one of the things they got coming up. So that would be my number number two because it's you still get those island beautiful tan and Brazilian tan Colombians that you would see in Cartagena or those Afro Colombians, but uh, 
they're still down to earth in comparison to, and you have all those tourists. The only time you see tourists, and I'm going to get to your question in a second, Brian. Uh, only time you see tourists is in uh, during the festival in February. Other than that, everybody clears out and everyday people are there. And that's what you want to have. Uh, let's go down. All right, brother. <laughs> our, 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 let's see. Oh, Victory says, uh, call me a hypocrite. I have grown sons and I don't want a woman who has kids. No, you don't have to. Uh, and I agree with that, especially if your kids are grown. Cause let's put it like this. Women will say that. And women will say that to us and their kids won't even be grown. Women will say that to us and I don't want any more kids. And you're looking at a kid right in front of you that's six and, and three. And you like, ain't your kid six and three? And she ain't number 30 years old. She going to tell you, I don't want any more kids. So if women got the audacity, the temerity, the gall to tell us, hey, I don't want any more children. Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with us men who have children telling women, I don't want a woman with kids. I'm I'm good. I'm thank you. I've done my share of populating the planet. I put good two, two or three good superheroes out there to make the world a better place so forth and so forth and you just don't want to want kids because you may want to travel with her you may want to experience new things with her you may want to bring her back to the states with you whatever it may be but at the end of the day you're like i ain't trying to bring her and her kids back to the states that's another thing why you don't want to deal with somebody that got kids because what if you want to bring that person back to the states and now you got to deal with immigration with not only just her and her shorties but check it even more, let me let me take uh, my brother down for a second. Even more, you kicking it with the woman that got kids, right? Check it. You want to take her to the States to meet your family. Y'all in love. She loved you. You love her. The kids love you. Everything is great. You file for a visa for her. It makes it through. You file for a visa for the kids. They like, uh, where's the daddy's authorization? Huh? Yeah. You dudes that's kicking it with a baby mama anywhere in the world. This is like a, a like part of a world treaty. There are very few places that's not a part of this treaty. No matter where you go in the world, you cannot transport a kid from one country to another country without both parents' authorizations. Now, you parents, you fathers in the comment section, tell me I'm lying. You cannot take your son under the age of 16 out of the United States. Now, if they're over 16, you y'all two can go and hang out. But if that child is under 16, you need to have your authorization and mom's written at least or, or by a, a special form she might have to fill out to get authorization for that child. And that child might be 15 years old. So now, if you kick it with a woman in Colombia or in Brazil and she got kids, ain't no taking her to another country if she got kids. Unless you're going to leave them kids with her grandmama. Ain't no, I'm going to take her to the States with me and we're going to live there until I get my money higher. And then we're going to move to another country. Ain't none of that. She got kids. And if the baby daddy, who she may be with or may not be with, doesn't authorize it, no matter, until they, unless those kids are 15, 16 years old, you will not be taking that woman's kids. Now you got a new headache. It's not just the baby daddy. It ain't just the kids. And they may be some good kids. It's the fact that you are now putting limitations on yourself that you don't deserve. Why did you get your passport? So you can live a life with limited limitations. I'll say that again. The reason why we got our passports, one of them is so we can live our limited life with limited limitations. Why would you get a passport, get with a baby mama, and add on more limitations to yourself? Why are you doing this? Oh, her sex so good. Dude, I got you. Her sex good. You got to let her go if you're going to be in a serious relationship. I've been having sex with her for four years. I don't give a damn how long you've been having sex with her. I'm talking about if you want to have something serious. Now, if in the long run, you see, this is the part that y'all don't get. You're selective hearing. 
you give me a conjunction again. I say leave her alone because she's going to be an extra. The fact that you can't take her anywhere. If you can't take the child anywhere, you're not listening. You're hearing what you want to hear. All you're hearing in your ear is, but Andre, I've been having sex with her for four years. But Andre, she has a nice son. But Andre, we all get along. But Andre, I'll marry her. Doesn't matter if you marry her. You're not the adopted father, right? You're not adopted, adopting that child, right? So the original father is still the father. You cannot take that child anywhere. That's why I said the number two thing when it comes to these women, do not let them waste your time and do not let them waste your money. That's one of the worst things that you guys are doing to yourselves. So he's absolutely correct. Even if he has kids, don't be ashamed of telling a woman, I don't, I, even though I have kids, I don't want somebody with kids because a woman has no problem with telling us that in the States. They are quick to tell us, well, I got kids. I don't want to have any more. How many times have we seen women on Kevin Samuels tell Kevin, I don't want to have any more kids? Because they already had three with two baby daddies. Is it the new dude's fault? Hell no, it ain't our fault that she had them kids, them two kids by three baby, I mean, those three kids by two baby daddies. That ain't our fault. You ain't got no kids. And what's she going to tell you? I don't want no kids. What? So as a man, do not be ashamed of the fact that you do not want somebody with kids. Kids and dogs, headache that you asking for. You ask them. Brothers, I promise you, this is Colombia. There is no sex good enough for the headaches that you guys put yourselves through. There are too many. See, it's not the states where you just every blue moon you get you like a nice dimey dime. She fine like that. For example, like my boy last night that had the pro. I had to give it to her. She was bad. Deep this dimples. All oh, beautiful, beautiful young woman. Beautiful. Very sweet. Very articulate. Really nice young lady. Right. But at the end of the day, she was a pro. So he knew he couldn't get serious about it. Dudes, we, we, we add our own headaches and then try to come up with our own aspirin. You can't give yourself the headache and then try to come up with your own aspirin. Now, another brother asked, uh, I really want to visit Parada. Yeah, yes, yes. Anyone been there? Yes, Andre and I have been there a hundred times. My boy, they just left. He just, the one I was just telling you was with the pro, just left. He was from that area. He's from the Parada, Manis, the coffee region. The Parada, Manisales, Armenia area is right outside. It's like, a, a, like four or five hours out of Medellin, four hours away from Cali. It's, the, it's, it's called the coffee triangle because it's Parada, Armenia, Manisales. Beautiful roads. Manisales is the, is the uh, college town of Colombia. So just in case you guys wonder what the University of Michigan or the University of Alabama or Ole Miss area of Colombia is, it's Monte Salas. It has five major universities in one location. It's where a lot of the doctors and attorneys, uh, major attorneys and politicians, that's where they go to college in Monte Salas. So it's college town. So that's one of the reasons you, you, you come across a lot of very educated women in a small, in those small towns, small pockets. That's my number three location, the coffee region. Andre and I have been out there so beautiful. The land is beautiful. The landscape. Uh, we were so tempted at one point in time after our first trip out to uh, to a Monte Salas area. Man, we were so tempted. We like we leave in Cali. We love Cali, but we were so tempted to move. It was because we're laid back people. You know, we're homebodies, and so that was just perfect for us. And but. Uh, my man who lives out there said, he said, it is nice, Dre. He said, but it's nothing to do. He said, as far as like, uh, he said, like, if you want to go out to a nice bar or a cigar bar or a uh, spoken word or a, a club, go dancing. He says, there's nothing to do. So when he came here to Cali, he just was having a good time because he misses that interactive, just going out and finding something active to do outside the house. So that's the, that's the, that's the uh, downside of the coffee regions. Or the, but it's really cool if you want to rent a finca for the weekend. Finca is farm, and you know, in uh, here in Colombia, so you rent a finca or uh, rent a room that that has several fincas. Man, I'm telling you, 
the swimming pool, the land, horseback riding, fishing. And then you got the people that's making the meals for you. So when you come back from fishing, they either take your fish and cook it for you or uh, uh, you didn't catch anything. Don't worry about it. They got fish or whatever it is, the, whatever the meal, the, the breakfasts are great. And I'm talking about you just chilling. And then out there in that region is the Juan Valdez coffee field. Like I mentioned before, a lot of us don't realize that we see Juan Valdez on the commercial, the dude with the donkey, right? And we think that that's, okay, that's just an image. No, that was a real dude here in Colombia that actually has a gigantic oh, a coffee farm. And now it's a park. It's Parque Cafe or the coffee park. And it is beautiful and it has, man, you, you love it. It's a theme park now. It's actually a theme, a coffee slash theme park. So you really love that area as well. But it's that 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 coffee triangle, Mani Salas, Pareda, Armenia. And that's my number three region. If I was to choose, if I wasn't with Andrea, those are my three areas. It would be Cali. It would be uh, Bed and Kia. And it would be the coffee, coffee region. Somebody put in the comment section and asked, what about Bogota? If you're looking for very educated, very beautiful um, uh, women that got a lot, a lot of women that got their own money, Bogota. You just, it just Bogota is the size of Chicago. Just in case you guys are wondering what size Bogota is, it's actually uh, the 15th, 20th largest city in the world, literally behind Chicago. Like on the list is like Chicago, and then it's Bogota. Number 66 is Medellin. So Bogota is 9 million people, 10 million. And Chicago, I think it was like 12, 13 million uh, as far as population in the, in the world. And so Bogota is a big city, a lot of history, a lot of good restaurants, a lot of eating there. The only thing with me with Bogota, too cold for me. Your boy moved from Detroit and Cleveland to get out the cold. You think I'm going to move where it's cold again? Now, Bogota does have a lot of warm days. But it has a lot of cold nights. And when I say cold, I mean like, goodness gracious, we need blankets. We need a hot, we need a heater, space heater. What in the world? Girl, let's cuddle up. Yeah, Bogota is where you will see a lot of people with trench coats, leather jackets, a lot of suits. You'll see a lot of women in business suits, a lot of professional, a lot of business connections because it's the capital. So that's where a lot of politics goes on. So if you're looking for women that are like, that are like, uh, Someone like the women in the States, Miss Independent, Miss Boss Bees, you'll find that in Bogota. But the, the one thing about it is they aren't as bossy as in the States, but they do realize this is Bogota. I got money. I went to college. I did the right thing. And I got my own paper, too. Thank you, Mr. America. And Bogota is not uncommon to see a woman paying for your date. It's not uncommon at all. But at this at the same time. Uh, everything is just like Chicago. It's, 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 it's on the go. The traffic is really thick, really, really thick in Bogota almost all day long. So, but it's a great city. My boy uh, Los uh, with the, with the uh, learn to learn crypto, crypto king. He lives in Bogota. He actually lives in Bogota. He's been down there for over a year. So he likes it and a few other guys down there like it. Uh, me and Kings and Dreams are going down there. Uh, real soon to get some custom made suits. Shout out to Kings and Dreams channel. All right, Coach Dre rocking the boat tie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rocking the boat today, brother. Rocking the boat today. Let me let it down a little bit. Yeah, rocking the boat today. All right. All right, Richie Mack in the building. Yeah, man, Rich did a great live stream today, man. I I enjoyed watching it, especially for Mother's Day. I wish I, man, I, I actually sat down. In front of the mic, I'm, a re I'm ready to click the button to join your live stream. And Andrea walks in the room. Come on, let's go. The Uber is here. Because we don't drive when we get ready to drink, right? So I don't drink and drive. And so we knew we were going to be drinking today with the family for Mother's Day. Because, you know, here in Columbia, they drink for everything. Kids graduate. Listen, one of the funnest parties I've ever been to was the kids was graduating kindergarten. Anytime the liveest party you've been to is the kids graduating kindergarten, Colombians will party for anything, right? And so 
I'm like, man, okay. So I'm watching Zoom, and I'm like, man, they're making comments. And then they start doing, like, your top five hip-hop artists. And I'm like, well, what about most deaf? What about this? What about Twali and Kuali and blah, 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 so forth? So it was really, really good uh, live stream that he did. All right, the spots I want to hit uh, when I come to Colombia is Santa Marta, Armenia. I like Santa Marta, the beach area, very Afro-Colombian uh, centric, uh, very family centric in Santa Marta as well. So uh, there are a lot of good women in Santa Marta. Only thing about Santa Marta for me is it's it's too far. Okay, this is the top of Colombia, right? My elbow is Cartagena. Literally, it's like this. This is Berenquia on the same highway, literally on the same highway. This is Santa Marta. Literally on the same highway. There, it's like you catch a bus for three bucks, literally like three dollars and fifty cents, right? On the, one of those big, nice buses with the with the uh with the laid back seat and the in the in the in the uh camera and the in the in the, um, in, the, in the you can watch movies in the headrest like in, on the airport those type of buses three dollars and it's a two-hour bus ride to bed and kia and we did it that's how come i know and then we enjoyed the bed and kia festival and then we took a two-hour drive with the, the same bus three more dollars to uh cartagena that's why i say that you can go to cartagena I mean, you can go to Cartagena and still have your fun, but if you're looking for something real, go to Bed and Kia. But I I say visit and enjoy Santa Marta, but it's so far off that you're like, if you're looking for just all beach, beach life, that's what Santa Marta is. If you're just looking for super slow, small town-ish beach life, that's Santa Marta. It's the first if I'm not mistaken, it's the, it's the first city of Colombia. But if you're looking for like a, a right in the middle of the two, bed and Kia. It's a sports town. You can celebrate and enjoy your sports, your soccer, blah, 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 so forth. They got their own teams. So bed and Kia, it also has celebrations, festivals, major sporting events come to bed and Kia too. Like the Pan Am games were, were in bed and Kia. So do realize, not no, wait a minute. I think the, it was like the Pan Am soccer game. I forgot, I forgot their version of, of, of Pan Am for, for soccer, but it was in Betty Kia, I think last year or the year before. No, not in 2020, of course, but it was like, I think it was last year. But my point is that Betty Kia does have a lot of uh, great, great women, uh, great people there, very, very family oriented. We already know what Cartagena is about pros and partying that's all Cartagena is about so if you think that you're going to find something good in Cartagena I'm, and I'm going to tell you something I'm yet to see somebody find something good in Cartagena and you dudes have told me that you found something in Cartagena but it wasn't good oh it was good in your eyes but when I self-analyzed it so this is the best that you can get all these women in Cartagena so this is the it's the, the best that you can bring me, huh? And she got a dog with the kids, huh? That's it? No, no. No, guys. Remember what I said. You're looking for, if you're going to move here, you're looking for a good spot. And you're looking for a good woman if you're looking for somebody for long term. Now, some of you guys, are going to, you want, I want to be single. I don't want a regular. Remember what I said, what I mentioned before. You don't have to get married. To have a good woman in your life. I repeat that. Everybody's not Andrea and Andrea. We realize that. Women, you do not have to. My girl Jay, she comes down here to, to Cartagena all the time. Has a good time. Dates and enjoy herself. You do not have to marry somebody to enjoy relationships here in Colombia. Realize only 20% of Colombians are married. 20%. Oh, this is a shack up country. They will shack up in a minute. Don't let somebody have a baby. They shacking up. That's why Colombia only has a 9%, 9% divorce rate. Because they ain't getting married. See, me and Andrea, 
it's always like it's always like like I say they always tell Andre like are you married married Andre be like yes I'm married married because nobody gets married in a Catholic country. Mm. Mm. So if you find somebody, you don't necessarily have to jump the broom. Okay, uh, where can we find uh, where can we find Colombian women with visas, Andre? A lot of times you'll find Colombian women with visas or that are taking advantage of visas are probably in the nine out of ten. If I was looking for it, it would be in, in, in Bogota because those are the business women. Those women are more of the uh, international type of responsibility i got a career over here or my career takes me out here or she's an airline stewardess for this or she does this or she teaches out here these women in in, in, in bogota are career women now are everybody like that no of course not just like everybody in your city is not a career woman or educated woman which is not not bad i'm just saying not everybody's like that so definitely you will find uh uh more in in, in bogota more women that will have a visa. I know a guy that, that actually came down here to Cali. This was stupid. I said it's stupid. I, I, I told him it was, I wouldn't have did it. He came down here to Cali, met a woman. Sex was fire. You caught that? Sex was fire. She, her parents are very professional, very well off. So she already so happened to have a visa. She'd been to the United States before. What did he do? He went to the parents and said, can I take it back to the States? They liked him the whole time he was here for those four, five, six months. They were like, sure. Take our baby back to the States. She's a grown woman. Take her back to the States. He owns a business, has a good life. So there's nothing wrong. They're having a great time. He loves Colombia. But now he can't move to Colombia. You know why? Because she doesn't want to leave the United States. Boom. Why the hell would you take a woman? No offense to the women in the world. Shout out Mother's Day. Why would you take a woman from a country that you want to move to to a country that you don't want to be in? And now she wants to be there and you can't get out. So what does he do? He comes down every four or five months. and He got side chicks down here. Since he can't get her to come back, he just comes back on his own beating side chicks backs in. That's all he talked about during dinner. Me and Andre was looking at this dude like, yeah. I was like, bro, I would have never did it like that. What were you thinking? Well, I thought that, but I said, like, no, you just thought that since so she was young and the sex was good, that, you know, you could bring the Colombian sex back with you. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I said, now you can't get her out of the country. That's that but mentality. That's that mentality that I'm telling you guys when it comes to a good woman. Y'all can't be doing these stupid moves, man. That was a stupid move. Now he can't, now he can leave, but he's economically put himself in a position where he's economically responsible for the girl back in New York. He's responsible as far as being her man back in New York. And now he can't technically leave her there. Because she's got a visa, yeah, but he don't want to leave her. If he's a man that has any sense, he's not going to just leave her there at his place. So now he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. I love being in Colombia. I want to move here, but I, I really can't because my girl, who I've been with for three or four years, doesn't want to leave the States now. Boom. Who told this idiot to take her to the States if you knew that you wanted to live outside the United States? That's a story I share with you guys. I can't wait to share because I don't want you to make that mistake. Guys, ladies, if you have no plans on living in the United States, do not, do not 
drag or ask a person to come visit or spend time with you in the United States. Because as soon as they use that visa and you get them in the United States, you thinking the sex all good. And then all your boys hype your ego up because they're like, oh, man, your Colombian woman, she's so fine. She's, oh, man. So you going for the hype. All of a sudden, she's there longer than her six months. And the next thing you know, you can't get her to leave. Don't do that. If you don't plan on living in the United States, don't be dragging a woman to the United States. What are you thinking? Don't do that, man. Do not do that. That's not fair to you. I'm trying, like I said, do not get a passport to put limits on yourself. Let me scroll down a little bit. Shout out to all you guys in here. All, the, all you individuals that have given Super Chats, sorry for not hitting the Super Chats, man, and getting down to where the Super Chats are. Or if I roll past your Super Chat, blame it on my head, not my heart. I appreciate all that you donate to the channel. Like I said, uh, in the next few months, we're going to buy some brand new Hasi Chashi 3000 microphones. We're getting two of them. And we're going to get a new soundboard. So yeah, I think I'm bad without a soundboard. Wait till y'all get a soundboard and I get to push the buttons with all the sound effects. Oh, it's going to be mayhem. This is going to be mayhem. Yes, it will. Okay. My kids could never come out of, come out dark skin. Okay. So I'm, I'm dipping. I'm dipping. See, sometimes I know when I'm just dipping. I had a Venezuelan girlfriend and her dog destroyed my back. See, that's what I'm talking about, Elvis. Why are you doing this? Because the sex was good. Every woman is... I'm, Every beautiful woman in South America can be replaced by another beautiful woman in South America. It would just talk about beauty. It would just talk about good sex. Every woman in South America that can give you some good sex can be replaced by another woman in South America that can give you some good sex. I don't know why y'all keep coming down here with that scarcity mindset. Like, she's the only one. I'll let her dog destroy my bathroom for this sex. No, 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 no. If she got a dudes, I'm telling you, write these rules down. If she's got a dog or kids and she's under 35 with the kids and if she has a dog at all, kick her to the curve. You will find another one in 30 seconds. This South America, your woman ain't got a monopoly on giving the head. Sorry, she don't. She ain't got a monopoly on that long, beautiful hair. She ain't got a monopoly on that curly hair. She ain't got a monopoly on dimples. I mean, women, I noticed this down here. In Colombia, you got to have at least one beauty spot. They either got a cleft, they either got dimples, or they got a, either got some eyes that might be gold or brown or some long, beautiful hair or big, beautiful eyes. They got something that makes them stand out. They ain't there all Colombians. Now, you'll find some regular-looking Colombian women that just walking around, yes. But I'm talking about the beautiful ones. You will always see that. So stop acting like the one that you got right now while I'm talking to you. She's scarce. She ain't. Andrea is not scarce. Her The, the woman that she is, the woman on the inside, that's the rarity. But the beautiful woman on the outside, there's plenty of women in the Andrea family that's beautiful. Andrea friends, beautiful. And she don't hang out with number sisters. So do realize, guys, do not let that beauty cause you to get your bathroom tore up, pooping all over the place, all over the house, dog got diarrhea, just because you wanted some good sex. No, man, it ain't worth it. What's it? Tim says, Andrea, I have a question. For a, a Colombiana to get her uh, non-spousal visa, to uh, the United States, do they have to pass a financial test or meet certain financial criteria if they have no family in America? Okay, here's how this works. I'm glad that you brought that up. He said non-spousal. That means that they either have to have a business visa because they're busy visiting the United States on, on business or a tourist visa. It is very hard right now to get a tourist visa in the United States. That's one of the complaints that, that a lot of people around the world, not just in Colombia, are complaining about when it comes to visas in the United States. United States right now are 
thousands up on, I'm talking about hundreds of thousands behind in visa applications. People are wondering like, what are you doing? Disney's wondering, what are you doing? That's how we make our money from these tourists. Epcot Center, the uh, SeaWorld, Andre and I were talking about this the other day, Bush Gardens, all the, the Statue of Liberty, all these tourist spots in New York are losing money because the United States are being if, either iffy or just lollygagging with the tourist visas. They're lollygagging. A lot of you guys are wondering, uh, why haven't Andrea been to the United States yet? Our application date, I'm not going to tell you what the date actually is, but it ain't this year. It ain't this year. So we're just waiting. We're like, what are you doing? So for you guys that are actually thinking if you're going to get a, get a woman and she's going to fill out a tourist visa and you're going to have her come to the United States in a couple of months, if she doesn't already have a visa, you can forget about that. The United States is dragging their feet. And I'm talking about one, two years worth of dragging. If your girl, I promise you this. If you got a female, guys, and she telling you she get her to it, I don't care how sexy she is, and she just give you, she just gave you the best blowjob and licked your booty and did all that stuff the night before, and so your your nose is wide open and anything she says goes, and she tells you she can get her visa in a few weeks. She's got an attorney. She's got a connection. She's lying. And I, I don't care how much money she got. I don't care who she is. Unless she's like a president's daughter, nobody is getting a visa like that. Nobody's getting a visa going into. We married and we wait. We've been waiting for the longest. So when it comes to these women right now and all this visa talk, y'all need to shut it down. If she got one right now, cool. If she don't, you can forget about it, dude, at least for a couple of years. That I promise you. And I'm, I'm telling you, these women will try to convince you by saying, well, I got a connection. Well, if you give me the money, I got an attorney that can get me. There is no such thing as that. I'm giving you the game. Stop putting a conjunction behind what I'm telling you. I'm giving you the game. Then you saying, but Andre, there is no but. There is no there is no way to get an immediate visa out of South America, Colombia. I don't care if she's coming from China. I don't care if she's coming from Germany. There is no immediate way to get into the United States. Now, those that are trying to come in through the back door, you know, them crazy people, they they getting in. Sadly. But for your woman, for visa to visit you. Like I said, the one dude's woman, he, the, the, the New York story I told you, remember, I said his woman already had a visa because of the influence that her parents had when she was when they, 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 they were into politics. So when she's had one since she was a kid. But for the rest of us, with our women, do not do. I'm, I'm going to tell you all a story. Let me freshen up. Okay, just recently, now when I say recent, over this last month, there was a dude that uh, was one of Andrea's clients, because Andrea does liaison work for a lot of you guys in the States. In other words, you go back to the States, the female told you something, something, something about uh, uh, she going to school, she doesn't know how to enroll, or she doesn't know how to open up a bank account, or she doesn't know how to fill out a visa form or whatever it may be. So the so you guys will call Andrea and say, Andrea, would you be my liaison? I'll pay you a certain amount of money to make sure that she gets her application done, whether it be for the visa, whether it be enrolled in school or she needs some help opening up a bank account, whatever it may be. Andrea does a lot of, li lot of liaison work, right? Okay, check it. One dude, he has said, the, the, the chick told him, it would cost $1,500. Now, mind you, the application is only like $150. She told him $1,500. Then she says, oh, 
but the attorney fee is going to be another fifteen hundred. So this dude has already come out of three thousand. He hires Andrea. The chick is down here in Cali. He hires Andrea. Andrea does a thorough investigation. First of all, he tells she tells him on day one, bruh, I'm telling you, by experience, nobody is getting visas through, especially in a few months. With attorney, without an attorney, doesn't matter. So he's like, what happened to my 3000 So he hires Andrea to find out what happens to the 3000 she has meetings with the girl, blah, 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 blah. Just bottom line, the brother got got. Right? You think he learned his lesson, right? You think you learned your lesson, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Calls Andrea not even a month later from sobbing about his 3000 with the chick here in Cali. Calls Andrea to help with an application with a chicken Medellin. After he already been told no visas are going through. None. Attorney or not. Your homeboy got a connection or not. What does he do? Andrea, could you? Andrea, like, hey, if you willing to pay. If you dumb enough to do the same thing in Medellin that you did here in Cali, and I already told you, go on Cash App. Go on send that Cash App, player. Some of y'all got to stop putting a conjunction of butt in a situation if you're looking for a good woman here in Colombia. You got to stop that. You got to stop that. Shout out to Keith. Good man right there. Yeah, even if they have family in the States and if they don't have family in the States, tell them, doesn't matter. Right now, globally, glo notice I've said this, and that's, that's just a Colombian thing. Globally. Okay. Can anybody put, a, anybody put a one in the comment section of somebody that you know that just got a visa and ask them how long they've been, if they got it just recently, over the last year, ask them, is it a business visa? And ask them how long they had to wait to get it if it's just a regular tourist visa. Now, business visas go a little faster. Like Andrea's best friend, they give it, they gave her a business visa because they want her to come to the States and represent Colombian, Afro-Colombian women for these uh, events all across the country, blah, blah, blah. So she, as a businesswoman here in Colombia, she gets those, those benefits. But for the rest of us that are regular bis of, of traveling visas, for your special girlfriend, you can forget that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I didn't get a chance to tell you guys. I don't know if, if I told you guys. Me and Andre did the same thing that my man trying to do. That girlfriend, boyfriend visa, we did that in the first six months when we were dating. I'm like, well, I can go see it for Andrea and she can come to, come to America for vacation. I'm just thinking it's just easy peasy. Oh, how much for the attorney? We're reaching for the term, sending money for the attorney, blah, blah, blah. Because at this time period, we were seriously in a relationship. It wasn't like a, a like, a, oh, she's using the money for this. I had receipts. I'm talking to the attorney myself, everything. And at the end of the day, the attorney said, I'll give you back half your money if, if it doesn't get approved. Andrea went down uh, to, uh, to, to Bogota, because you got to go to Bogota, to the embassy, went there, and uh, the consulate. And went down there, and the consular said, "Because you are just a, a, a you are just a, a, a girlfriend. Nope, y'all only been dating six to nine months. Nope, and she got rejected. The attorney did give us back half the money, like she said she would. So we got like seven hundred something back. But at the end of the day, I'm not. So what I'm saying is, I'm not telling you something that 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 I didn't experience." So I'm not looking at you guys like, oh, y'all crazy. I did it. I did it. Now, if Andrea already had a visa, she could have came over easily. So all you guys that got visa questions, shut them down for a couple years. Just let the person fill out the application, pay the application fee. If they're going to have an attorney fill it out, cool. But, dude, if you're going to be with her and you serious about her anyway, waiting a couple years, you're going to be all right. You'll be good. 
But do not think that this person do not. And I promise you, do not. I don't care how fine she is. I don't care if she suck your toes. I don't care if she lick your elbows. Do listen to your big brother. You will not and she will not be approved for a tourist visa overnight. The other reason why she will not be approved for a tourist visa. If she cannot prove, if she cannot prove that she has a reason to come back to Colombia. See, in the United States, when it comes to leaving the country, all they care about is, will you get ready to come in? Or are you going to stay too long? How long are you planning on staying? Oh, 90 days, 30 days, three weeks. The United States want to make sure that you don't stay too long. That's how our country is. You know, come visit, get the hell out. South America, when they check your visa, you can be pro approved. Here's the catch. You can, because you need two areas for your girl to be approved. This is another thing that the girls ain't telling you, that the women aren't telling you. The United States has to approve your visa application to be evaluated by Colombia or whatever South American country you're in. So if the United States rejects it, you don't even make it to the consulate in here in Colombia or whatever country she's in. I hope you are with me on that. Both has to approve it. When your girl fills out that application, it goes straight to United States. It's a, a U.S. application. If they approve it, cool. They are only approving it to be evaluated by Colombia. So what is Colombia looking for? If the United States trying to make sure you don't stay too long, Colombia and most of South America, the other 11 countries in South America are looking for this, that you come back to Colombia. What is your proof that you will come back? Just because you got family, that ain't enough. You got a bank account. That ain't enough. She better have a job and have history on that job. She better have a bank account that has years in that bank account, at least a year or a year and a half. Does she own a vehicle? Does she own a piece of property here? What is it that will cause her to come back? Is she the only person taking care of her grandmother? What is it that will cause her to come back? That's what they look for in Colombians uh, with Colombian visa. They're looking for what is going to cause her or even the guy to come back? What it will, If there's nothing that's holding her from coming back, she will not be approved. So you dudes that like to be with them cute broke chicks that ain't got no job, that's another sign of not having a good woman. She has nothing to validate. Okay. Okay. Put a one in the comment section for how many of you dudes got a girl that own a car. Put a one in the comment section for you dudes that got a girl in Colombia or Brazil, Argentina, somewhere that owns some property. Put a one in the comment section if you know that your girl has a bank account that's over two years old. I'll wait. It might be one, two, or three of y'all that might put a one in the comment section. I already know. Because y'all like broke chicks. And broke chicks don't get visas because broke means that you have no proof of coming back to Colombia. That's what Colombia, that's what all of South America, if you're kicking with a Brazilian chick, don't think that you go, well, it's too hard in Colombia. I'm going to try to get a Brazilian chick. No, dude, it's the same rules in Brazil. If there is no proof to bring her back to Brazil, she is not going to be approved for that visa. America wants proof that you're going to get the hell out. South America wants proof that you're going to bring your tail back home. And if you have no proof other than I got family to validate that you'll come back, her visa won't be approved. So stop it. All you visa talking dudes, stop it. I said it, I'm saying for the last time. Stop it with all that visa talk. Even if she applies, it's going to take a year to two years for her to get a date for her interview in that time period of that one to two years she has to be approved in the united states first to be evaluated in her home country at the consulate
So stop it. All you do is just talking about them visas and everything. She about to come see me. She is lying to you. That's why I'm saying good women are going to tell you all this. Guess what good woman I learned this from? Andrea taught me all this. And then I started studying for myself. I learned this from Andrea about, remember I said on our first six months, my experience with her, with the boyfriend, girlfriend experience. Then as time progressed and we started studying, we hired an attorney. Andrea and I literally hired an attorney from the States to find out, to make sure that we were correct on why her first visa wasn't approved. And we were right. It was the, because, A, we weren't married. B, we were just a couple for, like like I say, from six to nine months. So if we were just a brand new couple. C, it, she doesn't own any property. She At the time period, she doesn't own any cars or any vehicles, even though she does have a strong career and she has her bank account and her credit is A1 here. So she has all that as far as career is concerned. But we work together as a couple. So at that time period, even though they were doing applications fast, that's why her application – four or five years ago was easy to get through in a few weeks at that time period. Yes. That was four or five years ago, pre COVID. You with me? Everything's backed up because of, because of the pandemic, everything. So even after we hired an attorney to make sure we were correct on why, because it, it, could, it could have been any reason why they said no. So we didn't want to assume. So we hired an attorney from the States. We paid $1,500 just to get information. She gave us the details on the application. She told she taught us about the dates. She told taught us about what to expect during the, uh, the interview. She said the Colombian interview is like this. They've already made the decision whether you're going to get a visa or not. Your girl will get a visa or not before she even walks up to them. That decision was already made. When your girl opens her mouth in the consulate, all she's doing is validating whether they were right in their decision before she even walked up or whether they were wrong. They just want you to want her to talk for confirmation. Yeah, her application says she on a bank account. Do you have a bank account, ma'am? No. Okay, that confirmed. Uh, on here it says that she's got no kids. Do you have any children? No. Okay, she has no children. So we were right. She got no bank account, no children. Do you have a job? Uh, no. Okay, we already know in the application she said no, she doesn't have a job. So everything that she says validates how we felt before she even walked up. Stamp, no, she can't go. Take your ass back into Columbia. Go on back to work. So all you brothers that sitting up there talking about these visas and my girl, dude, pandemic pushed everything back from around the world. I'm from Florida, Tampa, Orlando area. 22 million visitors from around the world come to Orlando for just for the, the, the mouse alone, just to see Mickey Mouse. 22 million a year. The, the, the visa applications for tourists is so backed up. You know how much money Disney is missing? It is that backed up because of pandemic. It is, it's even worse backed up coming into the country. And for you dudes that's, that's getting passports, you lucky if you're getting a passport within two, three months. Because it used to be like, uh, what? I mean, within six months, because it used to just be like within a month and a half, two months, you got your passport. The United States are officially 100,000 applications for passports in the rear, in the rear. So if you if you fill out a passport application today, you are 100,000 and one. So they're backed up on both sides. I'm giving y'all the game. Y'all better suck it up. Because when them sister, because when the Colombian women suck you or them DR sisters suck you up and you start believing, and now you sending hundred, you sending five thousand, ten thousand. Like I told you, the one dude was sitting, he sent three thousand for a hundred and twenty dollar, hundred and thirty dollar application. Sent three thousand to that chick, had did no homework on passports, I mean on visas, did no homework on to, to see if she could even be approved for a visa. He just sending money, just sending money, just sending money. 
that money was gone. And what does this fool do? Leave the chicken Cali and go to another chicken Cartagena, I mean, chicken Medellin, and reach out to Andrea again and say, hey, could you uh, help my girl with the, dude, we just told you with the chicken Cali. But Andrea, like, listen, what what the, what is the I think it's in the Bible it says a fool or, or or is it just a, a, a proverb uh, a fool and his money shall soon part or easily part. If you are a fool with your money, gone sentence gone. Like Andre said, cash app is a raw. <laughs> if you crazy enough to do it like that, salute you. Let me scroll down some. Kings in the building. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me let you do what you do. I think I saw somebody with a question. Bruce. Okay. Uh, do this uh, YouTube, uh, Dre, this YouTube related, but I have checked you out. Uh, so this YouTube related. I have checked out the super thanks function on here. Oh, thanks, brother. Thank oh, you said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get that. Uh, but you have, but you have, but you have checked, but you have checked your, let me get to that. But have you checked out the super thanks function on here? I have not, my brethren. Thank you very much. I have not. I've seen it uh, on the, on our other channels, but I have not noticed it on this one. So if you guys want to take advantage of the super thanks as well, Especially since for this for this good information, man. I'm man, listen, man. If y'all don't start putting super chat, I just it just hit me. It it just hit me. If y'all don't start putting super chats in for your boy, because I'm gonna tell you why. This information would have cost a lot of y'all, and I'm talking about cost you in a negative way. I mean, in the sense of a lot of you dudes would have got fooled by some female talking about visa. Because it's several of y'all tonight was talking about V. What about this visa? What about that visa? And if you ain't talking about it tonight, you thought about it. So now I'm keeping you from getting caught up. Some of you dudes going to save $1,500, $3,000, $4,000 or dealing with headaches. So if you don't get it, man, if you don't get your boy $2 a piece and come on out of that, man, y'all play too much. Because I could have kept this information to myself and just laughed while your woman's sitting up there. Or I could have sat back and be like, uh, hey, you can hire Andrea for a liaison and sh she'll get you out of those <laughs> issues. So, yeah, man, look out for your boy. Because definitely, I'm telling you, man, this information here, no other YouTuber is telling you this about when it comes to South America travel and visas. I'm telling you, I, I experienced it. All right, shout out to Felicia once again. Okay, what are the odds of meeting Colombians over 25 with no children and kids? I did. Andre was 23 when we met. A girl was her, her best friend is 24. She ain't got no kids. I know a few other women. I, like I remember remember what I mentioned. Uh uh, about when I first got came here to Cali, other than pros, I mean, not, not Cali, but to Medellin. When I first went to Medellin, other than pros, I was dealing with just regular women. I only dealt with just one woman that uh, that had a shorty. 26, 24, 30, 32. And if you're looking for a certain age, what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for a certain type of woman. Now, if she just so happened to be of a certain age, Tim, like Andre just so happened so happened to be 23. But if this same woman was 33 with no kids, I'd have been happy too. So don't get caught up on the age thing. That's what I mean. Don't get caught up on the age things because you got women that's listen, I know some sexy, some sexy 60s here in Colombia. Dudes. That's been to Colombia or to Brazil. And I'm lying. I've seen some sexy 60s. You're like, man, she gotta be all a 60 with that body. And it'd be like a it, it don't be like, oh, she paid for that body. You know that that's regular. That's that's natural. Man. 
that's somebody grandmama looking like that. So don't get caught up so caught up on a number like I want somebody that's between da 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 da. And it, because if you get somebody young, my my motto is this: if you do get a young woman, get a young woman with an old soul. Y'all know, y'all see how Andre is. Think about it. Y'all would have never guessed Andre was twenty seven unless we told y'all. Andre, she doesn't act young. She has an old soul. So I always say, if you're going to get a young woman, make sure she has a mature family oriented old soul no matter where you go and i promise you you'll thank me for that one they they just as as intimate and enjoying life as any young person but they have that old soul area of responsibility and that's why my toes look so good because that old soul woman in there was the one that set the appointment to make sure that your boy got baby feet so yeah don't get don't get too too caught up on the number Okay, uh pass ball, uh hard pass on boss chicks. Yeah, that's 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 uh that's Bogota. That's Bogota. Women in Bogota are least this is true. This is true. That's you know that that <laughs> Elvis, good preaching. That's kind of like the, the trade off for of Bogota. It's like the professional, educated, got their own money. But out of, out of all the Colombian women, they're not the hottest. Are there hot women in Bogota? Yeah. But in comparison to the other cities, no. Nah, nobody talks about when you say the hot women in Colombia. Nobody talks about Bogota ever, 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 ever. Like I said, are there hot women there? Eh, yeah. But in when you talk about in comparison to... Yeah, nobody ever talks about Bogota. It's like, where's the hot chicks? Man, you need to go to Bogota. No, no. <laughs> That's true, Elvis. That's 1% true. Kings, let's go. Suits and bottles. That's right. Oh, yeah, we're going to have fun, man. You need to be getting some sleep, man. You'll sleep on the plane. Uh, shout out. Uh, oh, yeah. Brothers, give me shout outs. Let me get out the way. Will. All right. Thanks for the super chat, Will. Let's see what Will's talking about. I was in Bogota uh, past December. I love Bogota in December, man. Christmas lights, the malls. It, it felt like Chicago. I had a great time. Uh, beautiful women, beautiful malls. See, he said the same thing I thought. <laughs> uh, malls. Uh, next stop for me will be Cali. All right, Dre. Uh, uh, Dre, we do not want uh, tricksters, a uh, pay for play to ruin Cali. Yes. Are they pay for play here? I already told you my boy was here yesterday from Monty Salas. Had the cutest pay for play. Woo, she was hot. But but just the sweetest, sweetest person. Really nice. She's in school, dental school, and she's about to graduate. So there are some pay for play students, just like in the States. You know, states they got in Atlanta, they got the pay for play strippers, uh, but they but they're going to college. It happens. But uh yeah, yeah, man. Definitely look forward to see you. Let me know when you get down here, Will. Or let me know uh, if you got my email. Email me and we can exchange information. But definitely, man. Uh, I, I like uh, Bogota in December. I won't even lie about that. All right. One of the finest I met was in Santa Marta. Yeah. Beautiful women. It's just a small. Like I said, it was geographical location for me uh, as far as Santa Marta. Beautiful chocolate. Just Beautiful women in uh in Santa Marta. Beautiful region. It's just that it's too far. I mean, if I would have to say, me personally, man, Santa Marta got the best airport experience. Walking out the airport, man, you walk up the Santa Marta airport and it's right on the ocean. You looking like, whoa. I ain't never walked out of airport and it's like literally on the ocean. And you like, okay. I'm about to have some fun. It just lets you know as soon as you walk through the door, you're about to have some fun. All right, we got Clyde, Will, uh, talking about Santa Marta's beautiful place. Uh, several nice beaches. Yes, several nice beaches, but it's way at the bottom, almost uh, low-key west. Yes, it is. It's just, it, like I said, for me, it was just location for me. All right, shout out for the next super chat. Thank you very much, Ian. Man, I appreciate you, brother. Uh, last night's show was church, <laughs> was church, and uh, and only appreciate the, the 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 hottest women, 
uh, only way to go. Yes, yes. And I, I mentioned this before. Killian Cologne, man, that sounds familiar. Let me write that down, too. If you guys have any other Cologne suggestions, let your boy know. Like I said, my boy uh, on YouTube, Jeremy Fragrance. This white boy been doing it from Europe, man. He, he moved to, uh, I think he's in Florida right now. He was in California. Uh, two million subscribers. Does nothing but talk about colognes, the hottest colognes. Probably half my collections I found out about through Jeremy Fragrance. Top 10 uh, most complimented cologne. Top 10 new colognes. Top 10 replica colognes. That's like a, a cologne that smells like some of the most expensive ones, but they're not as expensive. Jeremy Fragrance on YouTube. Man, you got to be subscribed because I'm telling you, this white boy, he drops a video every day now. He used to do it like four or five times a week. Now he does one like, no, I think he does four or five times a week now. He used to do it like two times a week, but now he's doing it four or five times. Uh, he has his own fragrance line he's been doing it so long. So when I say Jeremy Fragrance, this that little young white dude, man, he cool too, man. He recool people. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I was saying last on the, on the last episode, I said this is my secret to approaching women, guys. Whenever I'm when I whenever in my case is just for dancing, but when it comes to you guys. When you're approaching women, this is my number one of all time, I'm serious as a heart attack, secret to getting attractive women. Only, only, only approach attractive women. I don't care if you're about to just ask for a dance. I don't care if you're asking for a date. I don't care if you're asking for sex. Go for the hottest one that you want every time. If she says no, go to the next hottest one. If she says no, go to the next hottest one. Never, ever, ever approach an unattractive woman. Why? Because you do not want an unattractive woman to tell you no. And you do not want an unattractive woman to tell you yes. Who wants an unattractive woman? No offense to the ladies, because y'all think y'all had all that thing. Beauty is in the eye beholder. What you might not think is beautiful, another man will. Yeah, okay, you can sell that to somebody else, but we're on this live stream tonight. Like I said, fellas, you do not want a woman that is unattractive, had the audacity to tell you, oh no, nah. what? Are you ugly? You don't want that headache. B, even worse than an unattractive woman telling you no is an unattractive woman telling you yes. <sighs> no, you don't want to dance with no unattractive woman. You pay to get in the club. You pay for your drinks like everybody else. You want somebody hot on the dance floor. No, you don't want an unattractive woman back at the hotel room, back at your finger. Back in your in your Airbnb. No, 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 no. So if you're gonna have a woman telling you no, I dudes, I promise you this is my secret. It works every time. Only attract attractive women because if I always say this, if I'm gonna get a no, she gonna be fine. Because if I get a yes, she gonna be fine. I promise you that. And I learned that from a friend of mine, man, years ago. And he talked about when he went to the festival in in uh, Toronto, Toronto Caribbean Festival. That's usually in August, September, right? Shout out to Flyboy Way. He did a video on it, on his channel. And the brother said, he said, man, I approached this. And his brother was like, you know, Mr. Tall, Dark and Handsome. Mr. He's a doctor, professional dude, right? You know, Mr. Fit. All that. He said, I approached a regular chick and she had the audacity to look at me like, no, uh -uh, that's all right. I don't want to give you my number. And that, that's what it was. I asked him, I said, man, how did you get your girlfriend? I was young, right? So I'm trying to get this knowledge. He said, Andre, 
he said, he told me the story about the regular girl that told him no. He said, from that day forth, I promised myself I will never walk up to a regular or unattractive woman to tell me no, and I will never walk up to another unattractive and regular woman that will tell me yes. It, it hit me, and I was like, that makes sense. It's just regular sense. If you're going to get no, I would rather get four no's from uh, the hottest chicks in the room, and then number five tell me yes, and she the she just as hot as the rest of the chicks. Then get one yes from an unattractive chick that I really don't want. I'm just smashing her. I'm just smashing her in the name of smashing, because you know women say we'll 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 hit anything with a hole. No. And I'm talking about you don't even have to be a handsome dude to do it. You ain't got to be Mr. Built, Mr. Mr. Bowtie. You ain't got to be. I did this when I was skinny, J.J. Walker with just a paper thin Andre. And I learned from that moment, well, my big old point dexter glasses, and I'm walking up to the hottest. And dudes will ask me, or they would do me like they did the other dude, like I did the other dude. They were like, Andre, how are you getting these hot women? And I'm like, because I refuse to be with an ugly yes. And I refuse to be with an ugly no. I refuse to be with an average yes. And I refuse to be with an average no. And that's been my philosophy philosophy for years. For years. My motto was like, you are not going to be ugly and then get in my bed and make ugly faces. You caught, you caught that, fellas? My motto was, I want a pretty woman to make ugly faces, not an ugly woman to make ugly faces. Why am I wasting my time making having an ugly woman making ugly faces in my bed? Oh, no, boo. No, that's not going to happen. That's not in my bed. Mm -mm. Y'all see what y'all see the last chick Kevin Samuels was with? That would be something that I, Andre would do. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to see me. Mm -mm. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen ever. I take a no and walk out a club with, with blue balls before I walk up to a an attractive regular chick. She attractive, but she regular? Man, please. Give me the no from the hot chick every time. Every time. Y'all go ahead and keep them regular chicks and them ugly chicks that y'all... The, the only reason... The only reason you even sleeping with that ugly chick because you ain't got enough confidence in yourself to sit back and take the no from enough hot chicks to get to the hot chick that says yes. That's the only reason we accept that. That's the only reason some of y'all been with your baby mama for that long. You didn't even want to have a baby by that chick. You know you want to have a baby with the chick with the dimples. With the chocolate mocha skin or the light skin sister with, with, with the, with the uh, Asian eyes because a mama half Filipino and a daddy half black. I mean, a daddy's black. You know that's the one that you really wanted. The one that was Japanese and she was also Mexican. That's the one you really wanted. But you walked past her. Because you didn't want to feel the rejection. Man, please. Rejection cometh. Cometh rejection cometh. Because if I get one, two no's and I get one yes, that's a good night. All I need is one fine one for the night. I don't need all y'all heifers. I just need one fine one for the night. I do not need five ugly chicks telling me yes. What the hell? What am I doing? And now I take one home, and now I'm compromising because, you know, my loins. And I'm smashing this ugly chick or this regular chick, and she making regular faces or ugly and making uglier faces. And in the back of my mind, I'm imagining a hot chick. So now I got to fake like this. Now, I'm talking about dudes. I'm talking about I don't even mess with ugly chicks with bad bodies. See, y'all compromise, not me. No, 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 no. Why? Because a pretty chick, you can take her to the gym or you can take her. So let's let's say a pretty chick got a regular body. You can take her to the gym and get that fit. But what gym can you take an ugly chick to to get her face done? Michael Jackson proved you can't go nowhere to get your face done. So why are we wasting our time with ugly chicks? Man, she got a fat this, a fat that. Man, she, she can keep that. You know them low-life brothers that ain't got no confidence? Y'all smash them ugly chicks. Enjoy yourself for me. 
enjoy yourself for me. The words of the Jackson Five. As for me, I'm walking straight to, okay. And I do that right now. All I do is dance, though. But on the dance floor, man, regular, what? Man, I, be, I walk in there just, okay, hot chick, hot chick, hot chick, hot chick. Okay, I got okay. I, I just count 20 of the hottest ones in this room with 3,000. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. And I get to work and I'm on the dance floor. And dudes wonder, and dudes be standing there. A lot of y'all come to town, y'all be standing there like, damn, who, damn, who did you was just dancing with? Dang, dang, Drake, dang. Oh, wow, dang. I see you work, Drake. Dude, I'm married. I'm just dancing. But I'm dancing with the hot one in the room. I ain't no regular, regular. Man, I don't care how tall she is, how short she is. She better be cute. She better be cute like I like her. Man, ain't no way, no, ain't no regular. Man, please. Okay, y'all y'all keep the regular chicks. Don't keep, keep doing your thing, brothers. More power to you regular brothers. But as for the rest of us, that's my secret to women. I refuse. You got to tell yourself you refuse to take a no from an ugly chick or a regular chick. And you refuse to take a yes from a ugly chick or a regular chick. I don't care how horny I am. I am not taking a yes from a ugly chick or a regular chick. Hell no. Never again. You deserve to have the best in your bed. You ain't rich. I do. <laughs> Woo. I'm telling you, that works. That works. They usually hot chicks think that they miss it anyway. And this is the other thing about hot chicks. Most dudes don't approach them. So when you do, the competition is, is rare as none. Most dudes look at hot chicks. They don't approach hot chicks. Well, I'm balling. I got money like that. Chicks attract. Come to me. Okay, cool. You got the chicks coming to you. Gotcha. Most of us ain't built like that. Oh, man, I didn't realize how late it's getting. My bad, because I know some of y'all got to go to work in the morning. Let me scroll through these real quick. All right, last. Okay, cool, cool. Got through that one. Thanks again for the super chat, brother. Uh, Good point, Andre. Never thought about that. Keith, loving the stream. Uh, learning a lot. I'm glad that we all share good information, good content. I'm glad that I'm helping everybody out that I can, brother. <laughs> yeah, I know, Victory. Man, that dude was stupid, man. Stupid. He had just learned. Uh, he's telling facts about the tourist visas, fellas. Trust that. I'm telling you, they are so far behind in the States, man. Okay, y'all go ahead. Keep on having the women thinking that y'all going to bring them to the States. My cousin's in the Panama visa appointment, 2024. You see, I already said about your girl, our appointment ain't this year. That's why people keep asking us, well, why, 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 uh, why Andre ain't in the States yet? Why you ain't bro you trying to hold her back? Dude, we ain't holding nothing back. We just we just like my man, cousins. Just we waiting. You they schedule you with a date. And you wait on that date and you hope somebody else cancel their date so maybe you can move up into their spot. That's the most you're going to get. Yeah, that's how it is with the visas. Victory, a friend of mine is working on a visa in Colombia. His wife uh, and they, uh, just got married. Uh, it will be two years for him. Uh, it's still, uh, She's still make it, milking him uh, for all of his <laughs> all of his money as we even as we speak. And threatening to uh and threatening him bad in the process. Yeah, and treating him bad in the process. Yeah, so he been treated like dirt. He's got a, a visa appointment to even get this woman that he's just married back to the United States. And he's still uh, that's a lot what you guys have to take consideration. See, Andre and I had already taken had already been married, so it happens, it happens. We had no plans on living back in the States anyway. But for those of you that plan on living in the States with the person that you fall in love with from any country, any country right now, you have to take consideration that one to two year wait if you're going to marry this person, if you're going to fall in love with this person. You got to be. You got to take that consideration. If I fall in love with her and I want her to be in my country, am I willing to wait two years? 
to get her to my country. I'm going to say that again. Do I need to say it again? Are you willing to wait two years for that woman that you fell in love with to actually finally set ground in the United States? And it's not a guarantee that she's going to get approved. She just got two years to wait for her or a year to wait for her interview. That doesn't mean that when she, remember I said they already made the decision from the application. They just have them come in and talk to confirm what, the, what her application says. Everything that she put on the application, she need to be able to confirm. Let's put it like this. Let me give y'all another tip. If you do have somebody that's waiting on a visa, also, if they have a 2024 wait date, have them redo the application again. It's not going to take their date away, but they're going to have to, because they're going to have their, their application number. Your application number can be your information in it. Her information can be updated. In other words, in two years, she may have been working over here. Now she works over there. Her bank account could have been over here, but now it's over there. She could have been in Cali, but now she's in Cartagena. So the system will allow her to update the information. So with a two year wait, she's going to have to even update that information. And if she doesn't, Let's say her life is exactly like it was two years ago, right? She technically doesn't have to update anything. They're going to ask her, why didn't you update your application in 2023 for this interview in 2024? She better have a hell of a reason or she ain't getting that visa after waiting for two years. Dude. That 90 day fiance mess. <laughs> Bro, I don't believe that, man. And a lot of those people on 90 day fiance, they had already got approved before they even got invited to be on the show. That's why they were able to jump back and forth. Notice with 90 day fiance, a lot of them are all at the point where they're working on their green card. That means that the person already had their visa approved. They've been to the United States once or twice, and now they're coming to live and they want to work. That's why with 90 day fiance, you notice a lot of people working on their green card and not their visas. A lot of times you'll see on 90 day fiance, they're working on getting their visa approved. But this was prior to the pandemic. A lot of stuff has changed, man. I kid you not. Oh yeah, I just read that one. Thanks, Victory, for that. For the uh... yeah, yep, one. See, one. One person that may have a bank account. One person that may have a may have a you know a car. One person that may own some property. Ones or zeros. That's what I meant by that. That's what I meant by that. If Colombia. All of South America, don't, I promise you, do not just think it's Colombia. So don't think that you're going to stop kicking it with Colombian women, go to Argentina, and the rules are different. It's the exact same rule for all of, all of the world when it comes to going to the United States. But South America has a different way they look at applications. Like I said, they look at it from the perspective of what's going to bring you back home. If you have nothing that's going to bring you back home, they won't approve her visa. Nope, 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 nope. Even this is the part. Even if she does have family here in Colombia, in South America, and family in the states, they still want proof. I had an ex in Brazil. She was uh, a law school. She was in law school, and she had her own apartment, and still. Had her visa request denied twice before finally getting it or finally getting it approved. Thanks, Clyde. So, like I said, it's not just United. It's not just uh, uh, one country in South America. There's 12 countries in South America, and it's not just one country uh, that this happens. There is no guarantee just because you have the application. I mean, the interview. There is no guarantee that'll be approved, and it happens like that, brother. Yep. She was in school, had her own apartment. 
she had proof. And for whatever reason, she had to apply again, apply again. And it's heartbreaking, man. Andre was crying. She was so hurt. She was so hurt. It's emotional for them. You know, Colombians, they cry for everything anyway. So, if, like, if Andre, when we do our uh, get uh, do our interview, and let's say they, for any reason, they don't have any reason, but for any reason that they would reject it, what well, you talking about someone that would be boo-hooing to have to go through the process all over again? We ain't even trying to live there. We're just trying to visit my family and hang out with some people that she know. And go, it's all she wanted, actually, Andre, all she wants to go see is her Lakers and, uh, 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 go see uh, 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 not LeBron James. That's all she wants to do as far as like the her big thing that she wants to do. Uh, only foreign girl I've dated was from Tel Aviv. Okay, cool. That's what's up, brother. Okay. Vegas Dave in the building. I like that name. Uh, shout out to my Raiders. To our Raiders. Raider Nation. Uh, her assets have to be uh the val valuable enough true uh that they must be that they must return her to our home country true um must be must be too much money to give up uh just to stay illegally in america true i see what your point is to where if this person has a bank account it also has enough have to have enough money in there to validate why they would want to come back to get their monies but you know the way the world is vegas uh person could transfer they could have a bank account with fifteen thousand dollars in it in colombia but once they get to the states they could just transfer their money to a new bank account but i see where you're coming from with that they still have to show proof of, of value absolutely correct uh forget the vague the <laughs> forget the visa Keep the girl in Colombia. Absolutely correct. Just like I told you, the one guy that brought the girl to the States and now he wish he could live in Colombia, but he can't bring her. Uh, I know Colombian here. Uh, I know Colombians. I know Colombia or Colombians here. Trust me, she will leave you. I got Colombian friends in the States, a lot of them. Yeah, she'll leave you, dog. I ain't gonna lie, and I'm not talking about something that I that I heard. It's something that I know. I got turned on to Colombia uh, because in, in Tampa, most of my friends are Colombians. So it ain't like the brother lying. He absolutely correct. If you take that chick back to the states for too long and she ain't got no job, and we already know a, a idle mind is the devil's workshop. Yeah, she gonna be creeping. She gonna be going to where she find her own people. And she go and meet one of her little Colombian friends, and she that friend go introduce her to some male friends. And while you at work putting in them the fifteen hour days, she getting her back blew out in in Spanish. Uh, your boy uh, Destino uh, trying to to battle to battle Disney in Florida. Uh, let me see. This stuff. That's the T's. Am I pronouncing that correctly? The I don't know. I don't know. Okay. A fool and his money will soon depart. Thank you, brother. Absolutely correct. Felicia in the building. Yeah, I know Felicia. He is crazy. A man, listen, I already packed up my <laughs> you like, oh, you ready? You ready? You read laptop ready. Thanks again for the super chat, Kings. Uh, Black Baby says, facts, the information is worth a lot in the super chat. Yeah, man. I'm trying to keep you guys from getting your, from getting your head bust open with the, with the lies. And, and they will tell, I'm telling you guys, uh, uh, Amos, hold on for a second. They will tell you I'm lying. After all the information I just gave you the last hour plus, your woman will tell you he doesn't know. See here, blah, 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 blah. See, I got a lawyer with a connection, and he got my grandmother a visa and my cousin. They're trying to convince you of anything to send money. She's looking at y'all in the bed, or y'all holding hands, or y'all eating a meal, and you, you enjoying Columbia. Your energy is just, 
or, or DR or, or Italy. Your energy is just good. And she's just like, she's taking advantage of it. And she's telling you it's going to cost a thousand dollars for the attorney, blah, blah, blah. What was, oh, she'll start off low. It's only going to cost $500. I got a deal. I got two cousins. I can introduce you to them. Everything I just told you the last hour and a half, you negate because of good sex. You will rather come out of $3,000 like the one dude that Andrea already told him and showed him you just lost $3,000. He runs his happy tail to Medellin and is doing the same thing. And Andrea, like, if you willing to come out the money, oh, <laughs> if you dumb enough, to send me money when I already helped you in one city, you want to do the same dang thing in another city. Andrew, like, bring it on, player. Bring it on. And I ain't mad at her. Get, shoot, get that money from that fool. He that dummy. We already told him, showed him. And we talk about this was like over a month Andrea worked with this dude, interviewing this girl, talking to this girl receipts everything andrea walked because you know she's an accountant so andrea walked through everything with this cat everything and after and after finally getting everything taken care of with the female in cali he finally gets the money back finally gets his money back after months of thinking that we thought it was gone andrea was able to maneuver and make sure that he was able to get his money back what does Happy do? Run to Medellin, meet a new chick, and is trying to do the same thing to the new chick in Medellin and call Andrea. Can you help me? I don't want nobody else. To, I don't want no lawyer I, other than you. And Andrea like, so you trying to do this again? Oh, yup. Come on, folks. Come on. Come on. I know you're stupid. Let mama take care of you. So you don't lose 3000 again. Yeah, that's some great information, Andre. Thanks. Uh, thank you for the super chat, brother. Thank you. Kings in the building. Yes, indeed. That's a fact about, uh, yeah, about young with an old soul. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Man, I'm telling y'all, if y'all get a young woman, oh, we got a bot in the building. Let me get rid of the bot real quick. Block user. And they are gone. Yeah, I kid you not, Clyde. I tell every dude, if you're gonna be with, a, with be with a younger woman, make sure she got an old soul, man. It, it the, the peace that you will get when you got a young, beautiful, attractive woman on your team, but has a mature energy about her. A lot of times, you guys get with really nice young women, but they don't have a mature energy about them. And she couldn't help you even fill out a visa application. Could she couldn't help you fill out the the the, uh, the extension form to stay in Colombia? I get your story. Remember the dude I just told y'all about that that was at dinner with us last night, right? Told us about how he brought the chick to from Colombia. She already had a visa. Uh, now he wants to move back, but not, but she doesn't want to move back. So now he comes down here and he cheats on her with all these other Colombian women, right? Remember I told you that story. His first time here in Colombia, he stayed six months. I want y'all to catch that. Anybody that's been to Colombia, you already know. He stayed in, in Colombia for six months. Gets to customs. They look at his passport. You've been here six months. Yeah, what's, what's the problem with that? Now, mind you, he's leaving with the chick that got the visa right behind him because the parents already approved him, approved that she can go with him. Go ahead, Mr. Irresponsibility. Like, dude, you were supposed to uh, get your visa or your passport re uh, uh, reapproved after 90 days. I mean, I, my, I'm sorry, after 120 days. 180 days, my bad. 180 days. In other words, three months, you're supposed to have that taken care of. Was that right before? 180 days? Was it, wait, a, wait a minute. 180 days? 120, 120 days? 
I mean, six months, 90 days, I think. The 90 days, the first 90 days, that's right. First 90 days, you're supposed to go online, fill out the application, get pay the 100,000 pesos, which is like 30 bucks. Then you're going to get an electronic receipt that says you've been approved for extension to stay in Colombia for another three days. I mean, another 90 days. In other words, uh, another three months. Why did I tell you the story like that? Of the guy that stayed for six months and he had to pay a fee, a fine. I mean, he could come back to Colombia, but if he does it again, he can't come back to Colombia for seven years. Why did I say that? Because the chick that he was with, the young girl, so sexy, with the visa, and the parents that let her go, didn't have enough sense to be mature enough in his life to tell him, baby, did you renew your, your passport to stay another 90 days to get an extension? Because at 23, that's what your girl did. See, she was mature enough in being an old soul. She was like, Andre, uh, you can only be here 90 days. And how many days have you been here? 82. Well, let's go ahead and go online, fill out your application. What, what do I need to go? Andre walked me through the whole process at 23 years old. Put a one in the chat if your girl know how to do that. If the girl that you kicking it with in South America, no, no matter what country, because you're going to need to get an extension in most countries, put a one in the chat. If your girl in South America knows how to help you get a, get an extension on your on your passport to stay that extra 90 days. Or it's going to be maybe one or two of y'all put one in there. But most of you dudes messing with women that don't even know how to help you get a, a passport extension. Don't even know how to tell you where to go to the, the website for the for the MIG to, to, before you leave so you can fill out the application when you're coming into the country, that the app, that form you fill out. The Colombia MIG, MIG. She don't know you nothing about that. Nothing. She don't know nothing. She can't take you to a dentist's office. And you spending your time and your money on these no good because she cute. Sometimes it ain't about how much money you got and how good the sex is. Sometimes it's about what can this person do for you. If you sit up here taking this person out to dinner, the least they could take you to is if you say, can I get to a good dinner's office? Do you know of a good one? Ah, uh, 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 hell. Man, y'all funny, man. Y'all doing it bass aquas. I'm telling y'all. Uh, y'all coming to Colombia and y'all doing it bass aquas, my brothers. I'm telling you some good women out here. But you keep dealing with these butt conjunction women. What do I mean by that? Every time I tell you the truth about her, you got a butt. But Andre, blah, 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 blah. Shout out to Amos. Sorry for misspelling. I meant to say uh, this is great. This is great information. Yes. Yes, brothers. Thank you very much, Amos, for the super chat, brother. I appreciate you, man. And I thank you for coming to the channel. I need one favor of you guys. Once we close down the live stream between today and tomorrow, I need you to put something in the comment section to help the algorithm of our videos. I'm going to mention this quite often. A lot of times we have great live streams, but very few comments. So put something in the comment section uh, when you get a chance. Uh, this was great. Thank you. Just anything simple. I'll respond to it and get the, and it helps the algorithm uh, regarding to getting this information out to more people. Of course, I'm going to change the title of this video in regards to because we ba we basically talked about uh, passports and visas. So I'm going to talk about that as far as the title of this video. Let's see. Thanks again, Tim. In the building. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that. So when you guys see the new microphones, you guys would be like, or the soundboard, because I'm going to be an idiot, man. You think Lee the Turney be hitting his bombs, or, or Kevin Samuels was hitting his. I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. I'm telling you, I'm be hitting all. Wait, wait, wait top put some. Woo -hoo. God do not want me to have a soundboard. I'm going to get on your last dang nerve. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, refuse to lose. Refuse to lose. All right. You always get valuable information. You always get valuable information, bro. Thank you for the information. Oh, yeah, John, man. I appreciate the fact that you guys are here and that I'm able to, by way of experience and knowledge, give you guys uh, insight in regards to things like this. Next week, we're going to be talking about bank accounts in Colombia, how to open up bank accounts in South America. So we're going to have some fun on Friday, but on Friday, we're also going to be talking about the bank accounts and how you get into investments in, in South America. A lot of you guys don't realize, yes, you can. There are ways to in, make investments here in Colombia as far as their stock market, their crypto and things like that. So we're going to be starting to talk about that either uh, probably next Friday. Next Friday, we're going to be talking about that. So I'm going to be a little early. I won't be too long next Friday because I'll be hanging out with Kings Friday night. So uh, all that was the King's going to be doing a probably live with, with, uh, with Andrea on, uh, on Thursday or Sunday. So well, probably Thursday. Oh yeah. King's going to be gone Friday. So we're going to be doing our things before then. So, cause yeah, you're going to be gone before then, but I guess I, I, I guess y'all going to have me all Friday, but on next Friday, I'm going to be talking about bank accounts and investments here in Colombia. How do you go about that? And then I'm still trying to gather more information on buying property here in Colombia, what do you do? What steps you could take if you're a person that doesn't necessarily have twenty thousand or thirty thousand to actually buy an apartment right out? What do you do? And so we're going to talk about that next week. All right, we got one person. Got one person that has somebody. That Terrell says I, he's basically I got somebody that I know that can help me fill out at least a passport extension form. So yeah, like I said, one dude. Everybody else, y'all kicking it with some of the airhead chicks, man. And y'all be talking about, and I, you know, I get tired of because I see all these these good women out here in Colombia, in Brazil, that y'all that will really be there on you on you guys' team because you got some good guys. You really are some good guys and ladies that you just overlook them, and then you then you look at me like Andre, you got a great girl, well, yeah. Uh, but there are a lot of Andreas out here that guys just don't take advantage of that that will really be on your side. And they're beautiful and freaky. So, so hey. All right. All right. Terrell says she has a business. Yeah, so don't, don't, it's those little things, man. Okay, uh, Timothy Howard in the building for the people. I like that title, Timothy. Uh, we'll be visiting Columbia soon, I hope. And can... Can we somehow connect with you? Yes, yeah, my, my email address. Let me give it to you right now, brother. Let me give my email address right now. I'm going to put in the... Wait a minute. Andrea always has it on one of the banners. Let's see. There we go. I'll give you, the, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Definitely. Definitely email me at Andre and Andrea. Andrea and Andre info at Gmail. I'm going to leave that up for a minute. And guys, email me. Email if you have some questions. Email if you want to schedule a consultation. We got the count. You know, I, I do consultations all week long. I always work around your schedule. You get major, major information from me. And uh, those that are a part of consultation, you actually get a chance to get in our WhatsApp group at no cost. The WhatsApp group is usually $25 to get in. So if you want to get into the WhatsApp group, we have over 100 people. A lot of people in the chat are in the WhatsApp group. We share information. You have access to Andrea and I all the time because especially Andrea. She, Andrea spends more time in the WhatsApp group <laughs> than she spent on YouTube. <laughs> She's always coming and talking to you guys about everything. So when you guys come to town, you guys are so excited meeting, meeting her for the first time. And so... Uh, so if you want to get in a WhatsApp group, email me with that. If you want to do a consultation, like I said, the consultation, uh, a part of the consultation fee is you get in the WhatsApp group absolutely free. And the WhatsApp, the consultations are usually two hours. So, but uh, yeah, you can ask any questions. I always have a list of things that I want to make sure I cover during the consultations. And one of them is the banking. So I'm going to give the banking out next week for some of you guys out there that are just trying to find out when I come to Colombia. And I want to plan because a lot of guys open up a bank account here 
so they can transfer money into it. So when they get here, they don't get knocked upside the head with, uh, you know, banking fees. So they just open up a bank account here, just transfer money here. And I'll show you how to do that as well. And I'll show you what app I use. I still have my U.S. bank account and I transfer it down here to either transfer money either to my bank account here or to Andrea's bank account. Because, you know, we like, OK, she needs this amount of money from 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 uh, from, from for her salary. And so it goes to her bank account. And there's a certain amount of money I have for my salary. Then we have money from my U.S. bank accounts that goes into investments and this and that and that pay bills, so forth and so forth. So, yeah, so it's a way to have you still keep your U.S. bank accounts and have your Colombian bank accounts or South American bank accounts and be able to transfer money down. And, I mean, it, it takes, like, five to ten minutes. Sometimes it may take an hour or two, but most of the time the money just, like, transferred from our state all the way down here to our Colombian account. So we're going to talk about that next week. All right. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, I'm not kicking it with anyone in Colombia yet, but I'm doing my my prep work. Do your prep work, guys. Pre pre game, get ready, all that good stuff. Uh, these guys who let the wrong uh, lead with the wrong, they do. They lead with the wrong head. Do let the wrong head do the thinking for them. Are the ones who want to get into get into bad situations the most. They do, man. Brothers, man. Woo, I'm telling you, the ladies are laughing at us, man. Black women with passports are laughing at black men. I won't even say black women. All women with passports are laughing at us men because I see white brothers do some stupid stuff. I done seen black brothers, some Asian brothers. I done seen brothers get scope of me that are of Latin descent and no Spanish. How you going to know Spanish and still get drugged? You knew you shouldn't even have her in your Airbnb. But it happens. So the ladies are laughing because we are not, we are looking past all these good women that work in all these office buildings and work in all these medical centers and own all these businesses and all these women that, that are involved in this and own all these beauty salons. And we just look right past them and we're like, I want the broke chick. That ain't got no job and responsibilities. And she can be with me for five days because I'm here for five days. If you get a broke chick, if you dumb enough to fall in love with, not, if you get a chick that's broke, let's start from there. If you're here for five days, and you got five days and she is here with you every day, you know she broke because she ain't got no job. And if she tell you she got a job, she lying. And if she tell you she in school, she lying. Why? No chick going to be around you for five days and she ain't got no classes. She ain't left you one time to go to class. You ain't seen Nan book. She lying about work and lying about school. So let's get that one out the way. Then you dumb enough to fall for her because she gave you good sex for five days, right? But then you wonder why you get all these complications with her over the next couple of years. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't take it. She got two, three kids da, 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 and a dog, blah, 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 blah. You did this because you decided you want a broke chick that could be with you for five days. No, I, that ain't me. No. When I was in, in Medellin, I was like, give me four or five working chicks that works regular jobs, that take care of regular business. This one gets off work at 12. This one gets off work at 9. This one's got to be to work at certain. So they all had a job, but I need to have them all at the same time. I just need to have at least one or two at a certain time. They can, hey, As long as they got shifts, I was never lonely. <laughs> but y'all decide y'all want to be with all broke chicks with no job, no bank accounts, no skills. And then you want to talk about visas. Man, if you don't sit your butt down, she ain't going nowhere. She can't go across the street talking about going to another, across the water. Please. You better take her to Brazil like the rest of the stupid dudes that's taking women to Brazil. What idiot thought of that one? What idiot? Or be like the rest of those idiots that's bringing women from DR to Colombia. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? You go to DR, some female curl your toes. You stupid enough to pay for a plane flight to go to Cartagena with all them hot chicks? 
Man, if you don't kick that, that crazy Dominican to the curb and get your butt on that plane by yourself, but there's enough of that for me. I, 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 didn't, I didn't do this one to bust your heads open <laughs> and laugh at you, but, hey, I won't lie. I, I do get a good laugh at some of the stupid stuff that we do as men. These guys are wrong. I'm thinking of the wrong head, blah, 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 blah. Situations. Mark says, Andre, uh, you were a super player. Yeah, I was back in the day, man. But now I'm, I'm super married and super happy, man. I'm super at peace. Man, I, I got so much peace, man. So much love. And it just, you know what I love about being in love with Andrea? Andrea does not hide the fact that she in love. Every single day, Andrea tells me, shows me in a major way that she's in love, love, like in love. Like she sings songs like I'm in love and I don't care. She sings songs like, Andrea will make up a song like, bitches, this is mine. <laughs> I've been looking at Andrea like, what you just saying? And she just make up a song, just a rap song called, bitches, this is mine. And she, I'm like, oh my girl, what's wrong with you? I kid you not. She is happy as can be. And don't you want in your life to see somebody that's just happy that you made happy? And I'm not talking about the money and I'm not talking about the travel. I'm talking about that you know that's a genuine, that they're in love and they're at peace with you, just like you're in love with them and at peace with them. And you see that. And when I meet some of you guys with your with your, uh, with your significant others, we see it. Andre and I can tell when it's just you're dating or we can tell when your boyfriend, girlfriend, but we can tell two people that are genuinely in love with each other through the ups and downs, ins and outs. And we like seeing that. There's no perfect couple. Not saying we walk around perfect and we agreed on everything. But what I'm saying is it is good to have somebody that loves you uh, unconditionally and you can love them without major conditions. Now, I can't say unconditionally because, you know, let's be true, guys, males, we are still uh, expected to be providers and protectors. Andrea, just like any woman in the world, uh, hey, Dre, uh, you need to get, keep your money up, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Dre, hey, something went bump in the night. You need to go check on that, bro. You need to take the garbage out, see? Hey, just because it's equal rights, I'm still taking the garbage out, all right? So... <laughs> So, so at the end of the day, women, all women around the world still got that same expectation. So just because you think, well, no woman wants my money, all women want your money, okay? All. Ladies of the United States, you might as well stop trying to lie about women in other countries. You want our money just as much as women in other countries want our money. All women that are, that are any sense in her head want a man to come to the table with some type of money, whether it be 50-50 or you paying everything, don't matter. That's how women want it. And hey, I'd rather give a woman money than have to be like in Africa, got to go kill a lion or a wildebeest with a spear in order to provide for my family. So hey, I'd rather deal with somebody. I'll make some money than kill a lion just to have some meat to eat. So, so either way, every man around the world is providing. All right, guys. I am officially, let me go through these last statements. Uh, uh, Andre, Andre has some women doing <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did, man. That's how I was doing it, man. I had them on shifts, man. I wasn't sitting back trying to have have one that was poor and broke, no bank account or nothing. Because I, like, I got like a little ego, right? I'm not talking about the ego like ego means uh, edge God out, right? I don't mean that ego. I mean, I got like a little, you know, expectation. Because I'm like, man, I flew all these hours. Man, I ain't trying to sit up here with no broke chick. I don't deal with no broke chick in the States. What am I flowery dying for a broke broke chick that lives in a tin house, right? So a, a tin house. So at the end of the day, I was like, okay, Andre, you like professional women. They like you. So you're going to have to get them on, on shifts, rotate. So this one worth this many hours a week. So she can't get to you. So this one can because she off work. So while this was off work and this was at work, I'm still good. When this one goes goes to work, this one is off work, so I'm good. Oh, both of these got to work at the same time? I got this other one over here. She got three days off, so I'm good. But at least I didn't have all broke chicks. Y'all dudes got all broke chicks. Like, every chick you got in your, in your phone is broke. Really? Every one of them? In all the countries you've been to, and you've been traveling for 10 years, and every chick you got is broke. Ain't got no bank account. Ain't got a. You ask her, can she vote? 
She said, I can't. Where's your voter's registration card? Uh, uh, you ain't never voting? Man, y'all like y'all like I'm dumb and simple, man. So was was simply stupid stuff happened to? Yeah, Mark Andre. So <laughs> she be having me rolling, man. I be like, and she would come up with them songs like from out of nowhere, dude. Or she be singing songs like I love my man so much songs. I'm like, okay, Monica, because you know she like old school R and B from the '90s, right? That's that's Andrea thing. That's what we meet. We like like like. A lot of people wonder, like, where do me Andre meet, like, musically? The 90s. So anything that's in the 90s and early 2000s, that's kind of where we meet musically. And she loves, the like, the 90s R&B, hip-hop, the Biggies, the Pox, the Little Waynes, and that whole that whole early 2000 uh, uh, Nelly era, Eminem era. She she likes all that, all the Monica and, and, and Brandy and all, all that era. She likes that era of music. And I do, too. So that's where we kind of, like, meet in the middle. Oh, the governor of Florida. Man, I didn't know that. Oh, the new dude. See, when I left, the uh, the dude with the white hair was uh, the governor of Florida. Now the younger dude, the younger dude with the brown hair is the governor. Okay, cool. I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. You have expectations. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I do, man. Man, please. Please, man. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Because, because statistically, it's just too much of a headache to deal with broke chicks. They always begging. Andre, well, wait a minute. A lot of working, a lot of women that got jobs beg. Yeah, but when you get the ones that got decent jobs, they ain't begging as much as the broke, broke chicks. There's the just broke. Man, you like, man, please. And at least if the ones that I got would ask me for a few dollars, well, man. She can help me fill out a form. She can help me get connected somewhere. She can help me find another Airbnb. The chicks y'all deal with can't help you find an Airbnb. If you want to move one, you got to do it yourself. Man, man, since I met Andrea, I ain't had to do nothing by myself. Nothing. Nothing. Driver's license, she was right there translating. She set the appointment. My feet and toes, she set all that up. Oh, we got the bot back. She set all that up. Yeah, man, all of it, man. Y'all doing it the hard way. It is not that hard dealing with Colombian women. Y'all make it hard, man. Sounds like Andrea has a great taste in music. 90s uh, underground hip hop was my thing. Yeah, man, I like underground hip hop too, man. I've always been, a, I like dudes that, or women that most people don't listen to. And then I get disappointed once they go mainstream and everybody know about them, then I stop listening. I'm like, oh, everybody knows about you. I don't want to listen to your music anymore. <laughs> That's me, no matter what it is, man. <laughs> no matter what it is, as long as the person's underground, I'm cool with it. As soon as y'all find out, like, oh, everybody knows about Kanye, I'm out. <laughs> but uh, let me let you guys go, man. I'm about to go make a fruit salad. And I'm about to go, I didn't get a chance to finish off watching uh, uh, Dr. Strange last night, so do not tell me the end in the comment section. Uh, I ain't got nothing but love for you, for you ladies and guys. I really do love you. I really appreciate you, and uh, you have been a blessing to our lives. I want to give you your flowers uh, while we are still alive, and I'm going to continue to do that on a regular basis. So that's why I try to give you the information that no other YouTuber gives you when it comes to South America, the little details that can help you out as far as whether you want to relocate or whether you just want to visit, at least you know certain things to look out for. So even if you're in Brazil, once again, if a female is talking about visas, you look at her like, stop lying. Like Andrea always say, why are you always lying? <laughs> so I'm out of here, guys. I'll talk to you later. See you guys. Andrea going to be here Thursday. I'll be here Friday with drink in hand. Andrea will be here Thursday. Uh, probably setting everything up with Kings and Dreams, unless Kings, ooh, got to find out what Kings, either way, Kings going to be here in Colombia. So whether he's here or whether he's on the other side, we're going to set up the live stream with he, him and Andre uh, getting together. So talk to you guys later.